We're live. What's cracking? This is Jimbo's footage. This is Bayer This is Goldie. What's up, Mr. Criminals? You're homeboy, Steven Lewis. This is your homeboy, Ricardo, giving a shout-out. Yo, what's cracking? It's me, Alvino. This is Veronica. It's Monica from Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. Calling in from the San Fernando Valley. Calling from Montebello. Already on Wicked Boulevard every weekend. Out from Denver, Colorado. From South Central. And we back, baby. Supporting the Crime Family Entertainment. Crime family Mr. Network Criminal on air live. Network podcast support the new Crime Family Network podcast. On the Crime Family Entertainment, Entertainment Network. And I'm supporting the Crime Family Network podcast. And it feels good to be back. Yeah, Mr. Criminal on air 2023 live. The most realest and most active podcast on the entire West Coast. You think I'm playing? Show me another podcast that's active. We out here killing the game. We just got back from Washington, D.C. Nah, I'm playing Washington CC Criminal Killed it with the C We went all the way up to Washington State Pulled all the way up to Oregon, Oregon, Portland The whole team, crime family, me and my baby girl in Critical Road running all the way up California State All the way back down 22 hour drive Lost about 5 in a time portal <laughs> But we back baby It feels good Critical, we back, homie. You yes, here? Sir. What's up, man? Man, we in here. How come your mic don't sound like you're working? Oh, uh, man, what's going on here? Oh, there, there you is. are. There you are. You told me to turn all these down. Yeah. And we back, though. 2023, Crime Family Entertainment, Mr. Criminal on air live. And it feels good. Shout out to everybody all over the Lowrider community that we were tapping in with all over Portland. The Lowrider show was a success. A lot of people were hitting me up. Why ain't on, I on stage? Why ain't I on stage? You guys will see very soon. We got a huge, huge, huge announcement for the community. As a, as you guys already been teased with the trailer. We're not going to talk about it. We're going to let action speak louder than words, though. Shout out to everybody all over the world tapping in. Shout out to our sponsor, Archive Gold. Shout out to Trade Craft Farms. Shout out to Rap King. Shout out to Attorney Rosenberg. Shout out to... JB underscore fitness. We still in here, Maddie Ice. And it feels good, baby. The support is real. We really in here. And we got a guest that's gonna be calling in here shortly. And make sure he knows we're ready. But we have Diablo calling in today from Pelican State. Pelican Bay State Prison. And he's gonna be telling his story. Everybody been wanting to know what's up with the homie. Where's he been at? His story, the whole nine. So tonight, he's going to answer some questions. But what's cracking? How's everybody doing? I was on the line earlier with Big Temps. His new album's on the way. Soy como soy. Is that what you guys are calling it critical? Yes, sir. And that shit sounded pretty good. I heard a couple of the tracks. Yes, sir. I just I feel, finished, man. I feel blessed to be a part of that. We jumped on a track called uh, Put Put My Name On. It. Yeah, that was dope. That's That's a good one. Yeah, and I jumped in the studio with you guys. The energy was good. It felt good to jump on that with YC Toast. Big Temps. Put my name on it. And, and we definitely did. We put Crime Family stamp all over that thing, man, and let them know that we're in here active and working really hard. 257 in the live. Shout out to everybody all over the world. Crime Family Entertainment, I appreciate you guys. Any questions, tap in. We got people tapping in from Spring Hill, Florida. Paris is in the house. Steven Williamson, what's cracking? OG eyes, mucho respect, or right back. Shout out to the homeboys in Pelican Bay from Big Law 707. But this is how we do it. Critical. What's up? Let's give them the hood TMZ one hey. more time. It's been a few weeks, homie. What's poppin'? Yes, man. Look, this is straight from high times, but I've been hearing about this for a while. It just went into effect on the 1st of July. And uh, the National Basketball Players Association are no longer... They are no longer... Um, Testing their uh, their players for Ooh. smoking. Is that right? Yeah, so weed is now legal in the NBA. Uh, shout out to the <laughs> National Basketball Association. <laughs> We're going to call it the National Blueberry Association <laughs> next. Because I'm going to pull up with a pack of that for my Lakers. What's cracking? Hey, how, I, many, how many players do you think are going to be high on the on the court? Shit, I think they're already there. <laughs> I think with these these vape pens these days and the way that we could do it like this, I think it's too easy for, for people to get away with it. What do you think? How many do you think are on there? Shit. Oh, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's been a few already, but just making it legal. All right. And not getting tested, I think there's going to be a lot more. Yeah. We'll start seeing people not be able to shoot those three-pointers. <laughs> you have a prepaid call Got from... It. Jason Ryan. An inmate at 
the Pelican Bay State Prison, Here we go. Crescent City, California. We're about to make this, this live right now. Your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Any questions for Diablo, tap call. in. Will not be charged Send them in. This is so the big update you guys have been asking for months, for years. Five now. Thank you for using Global Tell Link. D, what's cracking? Hello. What's popping, fool? What's going on? We on the live, homie. We on the live right now, live around the world. We got everybody tapping in. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Diablo in the motherfucking building. What's cracking, homie? How you doing? Can you, can you hear me clear? Just right here on the live. Everyone's doing good. Everybody's tapping in. Hell yeah. Let them know what's cracking, homie. Tell them what's cracking real quick. Oh, is that right? You bumping the doggy style. doggy style shit I got going See, Diablo, Diablo's updated for everybody that wants to know. Right here, man. Uh, I'm just posted right here, man. Fucking, uh, trying to get this little music shit cracking again from right here. So anybody need any features, whatever, hit me up. You can hit me directly off this global, global Telling uh, app. And we can do uh, negotiate whatever we're going to do. Interviews. People want shirts. I got all that. Hell yeah. So, still uh, still grinding. All you got to do is hit the line, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. They said well, Gunner, Gunner, from, I know the toy. Gunner from South Los sends his his love. Uh, a lot of homies are sending love right now. Free Diablo's going crazy on the chat right now. Uh, we got almost four, 500 people yeah. combining these two social medias right now, and they're going crazy. People saying to stay strong, sending love all over the world, homie. Yeah, I send mine back to everybody, man. Shout out to every homie that's right here in Pelican Bay with me. Also, uh, to all my fans, man. I uh, appreciate all the love and everybody's still playing my music, but we got some new music on the way. I got uh, that murder music the murder music album that's going to drop here pretty soon. Just waiting for the homie to come home. Hell yeah. What you? How many songs you got on this album? Uh, to be honest, man, it's, it's been in the making for so long. I think there might be like about 10 to 12 songs on it. I can't really be uh, 100% sure on that right now. I'll Hell. find out in like a week. Hell yeah, and I heard you got some features on this album. Oh yeah, yeah, I got a, uh, what I got on there? I got TZ, Compton TZ, Gutter Mac. I got a, uh, 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 what's some boy's name? Uh, Bravo the Back Chaser. I couldn't get the name right now, my bad. No, it's all good. Uh, who else is on that motherfucker in? I got Matt, that Master P with the DJ Mustard on it. Damn. Um, man, I got I got I got a lot of I got a, a few people on there. I oh, got yeah. uh, damn I can't think of some of the people right now. It's been so long. I've been already uh, not fucking with the music. Been a couple of years already. I got uh, I got Stupid Young on there. The homie from Verdugo. What was his name again? Uh, uh, J I Bands. Hell yeah, he's hard as fuck. Shout out to the homie. Got J. him Bands. on there. Yeah, I got him on there and shit. I just been a little out of tap with all that shit right now. So fucking, if I mistake the name or something, or I forget it's because I ain't fucked with that album for a minute. It's been in the making for already going on three years. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Nah, we feel it. We feel it. They're What's saying, going on with the music shit out there? Man, we working. We're all grinding. We're working on these podcasts. We're working on everything. On Instagram, for everybody that's asking that they can't hear Diablo, go to the YouTube to hear the audio. We are live on YouTube to hear the audio. Now, we just grinding, homie. We right here finishing up this God Got Me album, me and Critical Grinding. We got uh, the homie Big Tense working on Soy Como Soy. We got uh, YC Tokes working on a new album. We got the podcast going strong. We got just the whole, the whole game is... Uh, moving right now i would say uh, uh it's a little flooded there's a lot of new people in the game since you left uh it's a little confusing it's a little watered yeah. down at times but we still grinding we still sticking to the script you know yeah a lot of those names a lot of those names you mentioned i, I don't think i heard of them yet oh yeah because you haven't been out it's been a minute how long how long you been busting out going on yeah. three years you know? got, yeah two and a half years two and a half maybe years. three years in january Hell yeah! So tell them, tell them, tell them a day in the life of Diablo. Let them know, let them know how how you program, how your day starts, how you go about your day and shit. Four thirty to five a.m. I'm up, already up, cleaning the house and uh, getting ready for yard man. Go out there and work out and come back in and do it again the next day. Figure out how I can make some money. You know what I'm saying? 
Yes, sir. That's it, really. Hell yeah. I'm still trying to grind up from here. I got my uh, my fuel and shit still going through. I got denied on the first level, but uh, I'm waiting to hear from the attorney general again to see how that goes. But uh, other than that, man, I'm just I'm just doing this time, getting my mind situated in here, and uh, on the time I got to do, you know, for those that don't know, I got 80 years and two life sentences, so I'm still I'm still gonna be a relative in this game in this game as much as I can be. So, uh, like, oh, wait, uh, what you call it? Tell uh, Critical, I said, what's up? I'm going to need some beats, too. Let's go. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He can hear you. Shout out shout out, uh, Critical from Diablo. You hear him? Yes, sir. Can you can you hear him, Diablo? Yeah, yeah, I heard him. Yeah, hell yeah. He said, what's up? Yeah, hey, right uh, hey, Critical. Yeah. I just need a little 30, sec- little 30 seconds of what the beat is, and I, I got it from there. I can, I can get uh, messages on this little tab that we got now. I got so you. I can bro. hear it from there and we'll figure out how to record. You I'll, guys heard I'll, it right there. That. All right. I'll get some beats ready and I'll, I'll, I'll let Krams uh, do the uh, executive producing. Let me know which ones to send. And we got it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You guys heard it right there from, from Diablo work. himself and Critical. They're going to be working. We right here, man. It's good to hear your voice, my boy. Every time we go on live on this motherfucker, every single time we live, there's somebody asking about your situation, asking about an update. So right here, you guys hear it from the homie himself. So you got how long does an appeal usually go from the attorney general when you when you when you try to set that up? Man, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm not even sure. It takes a couple of years. Like there, there's a few different levels of the appeal. So right now I'm just trying to uh a couple little things I'm trying to argue that went on in my trial and shit. So hopefully everything will work out my way and I can get get back down on it on a manslaughter charge. You know what I mean? But when that when that day comes, I that's that's when I'll worry about it. You know? Yeah. Man, how does it feel to still have uh the the type of love and respect that you have? I know that you're tapping in with this tablet now. I know that you said you had Spliff D. You had a couple different people tapping in. Like, how does it feel to still have people out here still wanting to know about you and, and your situation? Oh, it feels good, man. It feels real good. Also, I, I got there's a, there's a little homie. I'm gonna shout him out too. His name is Cortez Briscoe. He's out of Washington. He uh, he taps in with me uh, from time to time. He's one of my fans. Cool homie. I appreciate him tapping in like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, we got these tablets now, so I'm I'm really trying to just use this to my advantage to fucking to get back out there with this music shit and make some money again. You know what I mean? Yeah, and and now you got the you got the tool right there in your hand because these days all you really need is, is is the access to be able to get to the music and be able to make it worldwide heard. So you got everything you need. Is that something that's new in the system? Like, cause I never really heard of homies having tablets. How long has that been going on? Well, I guess for a few years, they they I was out for nine years, so all this shit's new to me. But I guess they've been having them in a couple of prisons for, like, a few years now. But I'm up here in Pelican Bay, and this this is the last prison to get them, as far as I know. And, uh, you know, contact from right here is, is kind of hard to get and stuff. So this is a good thing for the homies to keep in touch with their families, you know what I mean? We could FaceTime on this shit and everything. So, I mean, it, this, this is real cool. Hell yeah, that's just super. I'm right here talking to you from my cell right now, you know what I mean? In the cell, homie, no more. I ain't got to worry about them running up on me. Damn, that's dope, homie, that's super dope. That 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 that's a, a futuristic thing. I don't think that anybody would have saw that coming back in the days, like homies having tablets busted, being able to rap, communicate with the nah, phones. I, I would have never, I would have never thought this, you know, I'd be having a tablet in my hand in my cell, like the motherfucking CEO's okay to this shit. What's up with villain, though? Man, Black Mexico's doing this thing. You know what's crazy? His daughter just got married yesterday. Shout out to Black Black Mexico. His, his uh, my homeboy villain from my neighborhood. Lil Bill. Just got married. Lil Bill just got his daughter just got married, homie. Shout out to his family, man. <laughs> That's dope, right? That's the homie, Lil Bill. Yeah, I remember when you sent yeah. me that message. Hell I was yeah! Dying, Congratulations man. to her. Yeah, hell yeah, doggy. So yeah, yeah shout yeah. out to him and his whole family, man. They all showed me a lot of love. Yes, sir. Everybody don't know. I would say. Uh, if people don't remember or understand, Diablo was one of the most active, the most active on the streets 
artists getting out, no excuses, no matter what. And people know you got a family. If people don't know you got a family, um, you had highlights. You never made excuses when it came to putting in work on this music. Anything that was asked of you, you would take that road anywhere, any direction, anywhere, no questions asked. You would ride it, homie. So shout out to you for 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 believing in your dream and taking it there. And I still, to this day, when I'm talking to artists and, and I give them examples, I still use you as an example because a lot of these artists just think that it's so easy and that it's going to come to them. And I always try to say, like, look at, a, look at a Diablo, millions of views, millions of streams. Why? Because he got out. He got out, he touched the, the people, he hit the ground running, he didn't, no excuses no matter what. So uh, you still have the winning formula, my boy, and I give you shout outs for everything that you put put in work to the game and brought to the table. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. And for artists coming up, you got to you gotta get out there, hit the road. Straight up. Interact with the people and, and shit's going to work. Cause, I mean, before I got out there, it was like, uh, it was a big difference after I got out there on the road and shit, you know? Once you met the people, it's like yeah. you, you make I mean, an emotional I, connection with them, and they always fuck with you because they still ask people from New Mexico. What you smoking on, homie? No, yeah, I'm smoking on some of this Tradecraft out now. It's lemon gelato, lem, lemon cherry gelato from our uh, sponsor, Tradecraft Ones. It's bomb as fuck too. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that birthday cake, man. That was my shit out there. Nah, I remember you nah, used to pull up with the, with the with the stick ass blunts all the time. Y'all don't even smoke nothing but blunts in the studio. Uh, rolling out of pound, huh? Always out of pound. <laughs> Straight up, doggy. Always. I mean, you're the only one I let yeah, smoke yeah. A, a blunt in my studio, too. I don't let nobody smoke blunts in my shit. Oh, yeah. We would have been having to go outside every 10 minutes. <laughs> right? Hey, uh, oh, motherfuckers man. don't know the, the work ethic. You go in the studio, you knock, you come in the studio, knock out five, six, seven tracks like nothing. Where 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 did that come from? Because I know that when I first met you, you were fresh out. We did we did a uh, mobbing in my Cortez. No, was it homie we don't play or mobbing in my Cortez first? It was homie we don't play, no? Yeah, it was that one first. How, how did you get to a position where you you're yeah. fresh fresh out learning your craft to the to the development of the artistry that you show? Because everybody knows before you went in, you really grew as an artist and you were really bringing a, a lot of flavor and new style to the game. Like, where do you attribute that to? Uh, man, I'm from the east side, so you know what I mean? we got that little flavor over there on my side of town. But uh, getting into the music shit, I gotta give it up. To this call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. When I first got out of prison, uh, he had a little studio thing going on in his garage and shit. Some of the homies was fucking around with the music, so that's that's pretty what uh, much how I got into it. But I kept going back and forth to prison on violations. And when I finally got out and got my shit right for a little while, uh, I was able to get on my grind with it. But me, I got to be in the streets really to to really have the motivation, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that was probably my downfall. I mean, uh, a, lot, a lot of homies know me. A lot of people in, in the game know me. I don't toot my own horn or nothing, but I'm really with the shit I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean... uh well, I matched it so for itself, you know what I mean? But you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, we're listening. I'm, I'm listening. I was letting you finish your comment. Okay. Nah, for sure. It definitely speaks for I itself. We're right. out and shit. Nah, nah, nah. We're listening. We're just, we're just tuned in. You know what I'm saying? Letting you speak. But nah, nah, nah. It definitely shows. Uh, I, I don't think a lot of people have, have walked the shoes that you walked in and had, held their heads up high the way that you have, homie. Yeah, I mean, it, it ain't nothing. I mean, I, I, these past couple of years, like, it, it's taking its toll and shit, but I'm a, I'm a gangster, and I'm going to ride this shit out. It ain't nothing. You know what I mean? I, I I got five beautiful daughters out there and shit, you know, so that's my number one priority whenever it comes to them. That's, that's really why I'm even trying to uh, do anything with this music shit still anyways, you know what I mean? My daughters want some. I want to be able to provide it for them, even though I'm still right here, so... And you know what I mean? Like, motherfucker got to eat. You know what I'm saying? I'll be putting on a little bit of weight. Nah, we can see from the picture. You, you have 60 seconds remaining. 60 seconds, they said. Hey, Grimes. Yeah. I'm going to call you right back, and this way we can uh, continue this. Let's go. I'm ready. All right. All right, Jim. So you guys hear right there the update. 
people been asking for a minute what's up with Diablo and shout out to let me see who was this <laughs> that's wrong one <laughs> that's no, that's emotional damage hold up where the fuck why don't know the motherfucking crimes go buddy <laughs> I programmed on the buttons. That was, I don't know. that was a good one. I, I don't know which one, but I was trying to put the coin, the Mario Brother coin for uh Voice of the Vario Radio. Voice of the Vario Radio. Keep your head up, Diablo, from the Desert Empire Sea Town or Sea Town. They're the ones that gave the donation, right? Yes, sir. Shout out to the super chat. And that's how we do it. Any questions for the homie? Let us know and we will definitely ask and get it popping right now. We back on live. He's calling back. This is Global Tell Link. You have a prepaid call from Jason Ryan. An inmate at the Pelican Bay State Prison, Crescent City, California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. You have a prepaid call. You will not be charged for this call. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using Global Tell Link. Yeah, we back on. Hey, uh, right? Yes, sir. How many people we got up on here? So we have right now in the live chat on the uh, YouTube, we have about 300 plus. And I was just on Instagram, but I got out. It was like 200 something, but I got out to get on Facebook. So we'll see right now what Facebook is looking like. Yeah, but we got about 500 people. And then we have a, we already went past a thousand views. I was just looking at analytics. So we've already had a thousand views. It's only been a few minutes. This shit's going right now. Yeah, uh, we got a lot of people tapped in right now. How long, gonna you get a lot doing, of... how, how long you been doing this? We've been doing the podcast now. We're going on three months, so this is like episode sixteen. Oh yeah, hey, shout out SKM too, man. I, I I've been trying to get a hold of him, but I ain't been able to uh, get in touch for a minute. You know, FKM's a solid dude, bro. I've always liked him. I've always liked his energy. <laughs> We kind of bumped heads when he came to my studio, but we we, we, we ended up uh, squaring it away, and, and he's a good dude, bro. I like that dude. He's genuine, and he's actually going to come in and do an interview on me and my own podcast. He's going to be interviewing me here, so he's good people, man. I fucks with them. Excuse me. No, you're good, bro. Yeah, he's a good homie, a good homie right now. Yeah, he was one of the ones. Him, him I give my boy OJ. Yes, sir. I give him. I give him props as being one of the first ones to ever do a podcast. A lot of people don't know, but a baker's dozen was one of the first podcasts ever in our community. I wish the homie would have uh, kept it going. He, he would have been one of the pioneers and probably ahead of everybody else. But, you know, he, he works oh, and does right. his thing, too. Remember I told you I was going to do that back in fucking, like, 2016? You were always ahead of everybody, dog. You said you were going to also do the reactions to the music videos and clown the shit of everybody, remember? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm yeah, gonna react to these fools. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna react to these fools' cries and just clown the shit out of them, smoking a blunt, homie. All this shit's whack. Fools, they can't fuck with me. Remember that shit, D? Yeah, that shit, hey. Because a lot of them fools are sorry. I'm gonna keep it real. Nah, there you is. You know what I mean? And you know, it's crazy now, big dog, since you went away. The game is, the game is too saturated because there's a lot of people doing it that shouldn't be doing it. Nah, for sure. For sure. We got people in here from Guadalajara, Philippines. Uh, we got someone right now. Oh, yeah, much love. Yeah, we got everybody. We, we got people from Guadalajara, Miami. We got people tapping in from the east side of Banning. They said Sapo love to, to to the homie Diablo. Oh, shout out to the hood. Yes, sir. They're all tapping in. Everybody's Who's that? watching. Uh, Guillermo Reynoso is the name on the screen. Danger. What up, what up, Danger? There you go. Hell I'm yeah. I'm saying my love to you guys, homie. Danger, hey, D-Say, hey, what up? tap in, too. I need that phone number, homie. He said, tap in, he needs that phone number. I need that phone number, don't you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, everything good, though. Yeah, we're uh, we, uh, we just right here getting the word out. How many people are really tapping in now? We got uh, over 500 people on, on the combined lives. What they talking about? They just talking about good to hear your voice. Uh, let's see, what else? Freestyle. They want to hear you freestyle. A lot of people keep saying they want to hear you bust some shit. Uh, people just sending their love, North Carolina, Central Florida, saying where they're ca calling in from. Any questions for Diablo? This is the time. I mean, you guys have been asking for months about him. This is the moment. He ask away, I'll, I'll ask these questions. Hey, we got Vancouver, Canada up in here, Oklahoma, Minneapolis. People are tapped in from everywhere, big dog. Monterrey, Mexico. What's up, my boy, uh, Grandi? Ah, oh, man, the homie's doing his thing, big dog. He got some new music coming out. He's doing his thing out there in Brazil. People don't know. 
uh, the connections that we have worldwide, man, they, they, they think this shit's a joke. Hey, they denied my bail because of all that shit. Because I used to travel like that. They denied my bail when I first got locked up. Oh, is that right? They thought you were going to be back in the favela. Yeah, they had it. Yo, <laughs> I would have been gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. For sure. They, they, on my first court date, bail. Damn. Then they took it away like five minutes later. Holy shit, just like that? Yeah, like five minutes. They said because I had uh, ties in other countries. Damn. That was a, I was a flight risk. Damn. But so- hey, man, law, laws are changing every day. It's just so, I mean... I don't even let none of this shit get the best of me. The laws change every day. I just seen a lifer go home this morning. He, Is that right? Uh, he was like, yeah, he was like uh, four cells away from me, five cells away from me. Yeah, he had been down 41 years and went home. To- this call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Wow. It's amazing, homie. Yeah. It's amazing. So, I mean, it's never hey, over. I, ain't, I don't lose. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I don't lose hope about nothing. I just... Thug it out, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And, uh, this, this, uh, I'm able to communicate with my kids. Man, I stayed until 11.30 last night texting my daughter. So, I mean, this is a big plus for people in here. That's dope, homie. Does it help the time go by a little bit faster knowing that you're in touch with people and, and being able to, to communicate like that helps, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it helps a lot. It helps a lot. I just get a... It's a trip. I look out the door and I see everybody fucking with these tablets. And like, like, like I said earlier, I, I never thought I would, uh, I would see this uh, in here like that, you know. Yeah. But it's good because uh, seems like everybody in a good mood now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now everyone's chilling, looking at the tablets, communicating with their family, all that. Hell yeah, that's dope yeah. as hell, homie. That's dope. Everybody as trying to get twerk videos and and phone sex and all kind of shit. <laughs> Getting a freaky tablet on, huh? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's dope, you know dope. You got a bunch of lifers right here, so motherfuckers trying to uh trying to get it in one way or another, I guess, you know? Yeah. How long how long you been up there in the bay? It's been about what, yeah. five, six months now, seven months? I've been I've been up here, it'll be a year in September. Oh shit. But uh I'm already up for transfer. Yeah, I'm I'm waiting to leave here already. I'm uh supposed to go down to Ironwood or Sentinella. So I'm there. just waiting for them to Tell me to transpack and shit. Hell yeah. So so yeah. I wanna know, let's take it back to the beginning, because a lot of people wanna know. What was the what was the transition from you going to a to a solo artist? Obviously we know that was personal conversations between us. What would you like to know? Because people been asking about about the Empire Riders. Everybody wants to know what's up with the Empire Riders. Uh obviously that's where you started with. What what was the transition for going from Empire Riders to a solo artist? Explain to the people. Yeah, I'm good, homie. Yeah, yeah, you too, homie. Uh, the trans. Oh, man, well, that's those are my homies. I mean, the group. We're not just a group. We family and shit. But you know, people have falling outs and shit. And, and uh, I mean, those those ain't really nothing. I don't, I don't care about none of that shit. You know. Uh, but everybody kept going to jail and shit. You know what I'm saying? And so being in the group, we couldn't really do nothing. Be- no shows, no albums, really, because everybody was in and out of prison. So. I just had to go off and do my own thing for a little while. But I heard they were supposed to get a new album together. I, I hope so, so I can hear them motherfuckers, you know? Yeah, they said I FKM's the, uh, supposed to be part of it. And... Oh, yeah, that's cool. I, I got the, the first one right here, and uh, my neighbor has it right now. That's crazy. Huh? That first CD? Yeah. And I, I got that State, I got my State Ray CD in here, too, but it's down the hall. Let the homie borrow it. Hell, yeah. Do people trip down out on you? Too. When, when you're in there, like, oh, shit, that's Diablo. Uh, a, cu- a couple homies have recognized me right here. Yeah, uh, quite a few. Yeah. But uh, what you call it? Yeah, they, a few homies got my CDs and stuff right here, too. They buy them off the packages. So that, that's cool. But we need, to, we need to get the rest on the package list. Nah, we're working on it right now. Shout out to Shout out to everybody supporting. Whoever that dude was that burned me on my last catalog deal. I can't even find that motherfucker no more, but he put our shit in the, 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 the distribution. And when I went to go uh, tap in with him at that six month mark, when it was supposed to be time to get paid, motherfucker wasn't answering nowhere to be found, yeah. changed numbers, all that shit. So I'm gonna have to track that shit down, but 
we're going to get back up in there definitely, homie, because I've been hearing about that for a minute. Yeah, uh, Bundy got the plug on that. Shout out Bundy, too, man. I hope the homie comes home next week. Oh, yeah. Shout out Bundy. A lot of people don't know his his uh, his connections to the game. Bundy been in the game since way back in the days. Pimp rolling records. Been doing this thing independently investing since way back. Doing uh, He was in charge of Little Sicko, who's his brother, and Little Blackie's career, which are both of his blood brothers. And uh, he's always been a solid, solid dude, a good addition to the game, and a personal friend of mine. So shout out to to, to Big Bun. Yeah, Bundy, Bundy's a good homie, man. Fucking me and, me and him, out of, out of everybody, he stayed in touch with me the most. And I, I appreciate everything that man's done for me. He, he fucking paid, paid for my trial clothes and all that shit. And I mean, that to me, that shit goes a long, long way, you know? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, shout out him. Shout out, it was both of us. We both we both did it. He just beat me to it. I remember they uh you know what happened with me and my situation, but yeah, my shit, my bag is still right here. I still got your fucking clothes right here. No bullshit. I'm gonna send you a picture now that you got the app. I got you some dope ass shirts, some belts. My wife picked the khakis and the or the, the slacks and the shoes and we had you all laced up, but it's all good. Fate with destiny is destiny, you know? At least at least uh yeah, yeah, sure, the homie sure. came through. Sure. Send my love to your wife and your family too, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Diablo said, "What's up to to my wife and family?" We got Street Visuals right here, little Robert right here, and, and my wife. They're right here, just chilling, watching this shit. Help set up the lighting and everything. She says she What's sends up, her love by back. Yeah. Hell yeah, but oh, Robert's tall ass, huh? Yeah, he's tall as a motherfucker now. He's a, we were at the <laughs> beach yesterday, dog, and I just I just started describing people. I bought a barbecue the other day, and I literally he was coming in, p- pulled up in the truck to pick it up, and I'm like, yeah, he looks like me, but just taller and with hair. And they're like, all right, cool. That's basically what it is, though. Hey, so so I, I want to know who who's doing the, the numbers out there right now, because I'm about to start shitting on them from right here. Damn, they're uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let them know, homie. Uh, there's a, there's cats. They say they yeah, say. I'm gonna start shitting on them from from the level four. You know what I mean? They say Chito yeah. Chito Ranas is doing numbers right now, but he got busted again. He was on my show, and he was fucking with Swifty Blue a lot. And Swifty Blue's uh, his name's always in the mix because you know all the all the controversy and shit. But as far as numbers and true numbers, I would stay still say uh, King Little G. Drummer boy, they're the ones that are doing shit. They weren't together for years, homie, and I put them back together on, on the show. We ended up squashing their beef, so we're proud of that. I was chopping up with Drummer today. He wants to do some work out of the studio, so we just keeping it all in the family, homie. But as far as uh, anybody doing numbers, oh. I would say it would be the the new that 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 is probably that Chito Rana's cat, but he just got busted. So now it's gonna be a battle battle of the homies. You know, busted. I, I, was, I was in the hole in Delino, mm-hmm. and uh. And he was there on the reception yard somewhere. Is that right? Uh, I was hearing that he was there. He, that him and uh, Devour, I kept hearing that they were over there somewhere on one of those yards. Yeah. Hey, but uh, I, I'll be listening. I, I got Drummer Boy right here on one of these doggy style songs. Yeah, hell yeah. Drummer's hard. That's a little homie from back in the days. Yeah, he, yeah, he got some shit. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but but Chito Ranas is the one I would say right now. He he had just signed a deal to Columbia. A lot of people were like, uh, had different opinions. You know, I have my opinion about signing the majors, but he signed to Columbia, and uh, they said it was like a fifty thousand dollar deal, whatever it is. But uh, I guess I guess he got busted right after and shit. But it is what it is. They they a lot of people are are either feeling him or not because he says the N word in a lot of his raps. I don't feel the N-word in raps. And I was going to ask him about it the day he was on my show, but he was breaking down having like a like a, like a, a moment, homie. Like he was really going through some shit, and I didn't want to uh, ask him controversial shit when, when he was in the middle of like venting to me as a man, you know? But uh, I really want to have a conversation yeah. with him about that. What's your opinion? Since you since you went away, remember when we were in the game? Like like when you were in the game with me like years ago, it wasn't like that. Not so many fools saying the N-word now. It went crazy. Like everybody and their mom say the N word, every other fucking word. Like there's there's some of these cats that say it like it's forty like times that in the here. verse. That's just nuts. I hear that shit all day in New York. And what do you think about it? Uh, I mean, it, it's to each his own. I mean, it's a, it's a new generation. That's a good answer. And, uh, you know, it depends where you were raised there too. You know. It's a damn good answer. I, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with it. Me neither. But you know, to each his own. 
Yeah. People, you know, people. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. So I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna knock nobody. Do what you do, you know. Yeah. I gotta, yeah. I gotta do what I do. Yeah, that's dope. I like that. I like that answer yeah. because a lot of people get caught up in it, and I tend to get caught up sometimes in it. Just you for have the fact 60 seconds remaining. You have so much pride, you know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You uh, uh you want to keep this going, or you want to call tonight? What you nah, want to call back? Hit, hit me back. These how people, you want to do it? These people are going crazy. <laughs> we're just getting started. Tap, we getting started. Tap back in. We ready? All right, I'm gonna call you back right now. All right, Jay. This should be tripping, so if it takes a minute, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to call you right now, though. No, nah, it's all good, dog. Take your time. We're right here. All right. All right. Yeah, man, this is a dope interview. How you guys feeling, man? Cold That's as fuck? Because I am. Are you? Yeah, I'm freezing. It was hot was 10 on? minutes ago. It was hot, homie. We had the greasy bottles <laughs> <laughs> on the live. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know about that road trip. Wow. They don't know about the grease bottles. <laughs> What's up? What's up, homie? They say OGIs. Anybody got a quick question? Diablo from Tacoma, Washington. What's up? We're going to be taking lot calls in a little bit. I want the homie to be able to speak his mind. I know you guys want to call in. We got hundreds of people already calling. I just looked at my missed calls. I think we got 790 missed calls. I just don't have the, the shit showing notifications, so... Uh, give it a minute, and, and we will answer a few calls. But, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good time. I hope you guys are enjoying this Mr. Criminal On Air Live, the most active and realest podcast on the West Coast, broadcasting all around the world. We do it with celebrities. We do it with comedians. We do it with uh, fighters, and we do it with artists and real people and, and people behind the walls and people with freedom, and we're going to tap in with everybody, man. And Diablo's a good dude that was part of my team, and uh, we actually went separate ways due to the fact that he had to get busted and I had to keep going in the game. But no no love lost. We right here still pushing. And it's just a little bit of a, it's, it's just a little bit of miscommunication at times that happened between people. And I'm glad that we were able to iron that out. How did you and Diablo first get connected? We got connected off of uh, the homies from Empire Riders invited me to the studio, actually hitting me up to do a feature. And... Uh, I said, I, I want to pull up on the homies. I like the way they sounded. So at the time I was doing shit, I always liked to fuck with artists, real artists that I respect. So I pulled up, and I pulled up on the homies, and I asked them, I said, where's the studio at? Big Lazy said, it's in my neighborhood. Pull up. I said, cool. So I pulled up solo. I pulled up by myself, and I liked the homies' vibe. I liked the homies' stilo. I really clicked with the homie Big Lazy. Um, Little Lazy was my favorite out of all of them. I really thought that fool was hard as fuck. He just got out. Shout out to Little Lazy. He just got out from doing I don't know how many years. And, uh, yeah, that's that's how we first got connected. We got in the studio. I think we dropped Homie We Don't Play. And a week later, we were shooting a music video to it. That was the original connection. Shout out to Big Lazy. Shout out to Empire Riders. You know how we do it. We were in the motherfucking <laughs> Pismo Beach. And I went viral before going viral was a thing for getting my RV stuck in the sand. And we had no choice but to be stuck in the fucking sand and we had to go get that shit out with a, with a truck. And did somebody turn off the air because it's fucking freezing. He's cold. My greasy balls are turning into frozen <laughs> balls. That's That's all bad. I'm talking about my ball bearings. You know how it goes, Chris. No. He's the one that taught me this lingo. Oh, wow. <laughs> My wife said they're turning into snowballs. She's a G for that one. But yeah, any more questions you want to know, ask. We ain't here. Respect to everybody all over the world, like I said. And we got Opina pulling up next. He's going to be our guest tonight. We're going to be tapping in with some people. So I made a decision on the road when I was coming back from Portland. I said... You know what, I've been doing a lot of uh, bigger celebrities, a lot of known people. What about the up-and-comers? What about the homies that don't have a voice like that? What about the homies that, that deserve a shot, deserve a shine, have dope-ass stories, respectable cats? I said, I'm going to fuck with them. So uh, the homie on Pina tapped in, and I invited him to the show. So he'll be pulling up later on. This is Global Tell Link. You have a prepaid call from... Jason Ryan. An inmate at... The Pelican Bay State Prison, Crescent City, California. 
This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. You have a prepaid call. You will not be charged for this call. To accept this call, pay or dial 5 now. Thank you for using Global Tel Link. What up, big dog? Hey. Yes, sir, we're back. I had to dial like six times right now to get through. Shit wasn't working? These things are fucking janky sometimes. So what uh, I think it's because there's so, so many people on them at once, you know? Yeah. So what kind what kind of uh, tablets are they? Like Samsung? Like, or, or I'm sorry, Android? Or what, what are they? Like a little Android. Yeah, little hell Android yeah. tablet. Hell yeah, that's dope, fool. They like else? some shit I bought my kids. They like some shit I bought my kids when they were two. <laughs> <laughs> Could you play games or like watch movies or anything else? Have... Yeah, you know, I'll be on that Candy Crush. Playing hell chess yeah. and shit. And hey. Stuff. If uh, if you find a game on the App Store, it's called Leo's Fortune. Get Leo's Fortune. Trust me. Thank me later. That shit's hard. Hold on. Hold on real quick. What happened? Oh, I ain't check. You want to send me a message? Yeah, go ahead. Do your thing. All right. What what happened, Crank? My no, bad. I was saying there's a game on the Android store. It's called Leo's Fortune. Download that motherfucker and thank me later. It's like oh, yeah? A, that shit's fun as fuck. Oh, uh, no. Nah, we... we, we we don't got it like that. Like we get the games that are on there, dog. You know, oh they, yeah, we yeah, got whatever's like, there. Power lock on that shit or something. Oh okay, I see. I see. Yeah, I see. whatever the whatever is there, we got. Oh, that's dope though. Yeah. Shit, at least they got some things on there. Yeah, I'll be on the Angry Birds. <laughs> hey, Angry Birds is dope as fuck though. I like the I like Angry Birds. Look, Robert got all excited right now. Robert's <laughs> like, hey, fool, tell him to invite me to Angry Birds. Robert wants to play you, fool. Uh yeah, man. I, I wish I could, man. Yeah. Baby, we, that, we could just, you know, we can't do that kind of shit. It's like really limited. But nah, I mean, hell nah. Everybody's going crazy on that shit. Watching hey. uh, TV uh, series and shit like that. What What do you guys get to watch? How are you guys watching your TV series on there? Like, what's the apps or what? Well, they sell them to us for like five ninety nine a month. Five dollars a month or some shit. And, um, they got like 200 movies on there, but they're like PG-13 movies, though. Oh, I see, I see. Shit, and then, this is uh, something. Yeah, we ain't seeing no, we ain't seeing no titties or nothing. Damn. <laughs> Shit, bro. Yeah, but uh, that we got that, and then we got this little app. It's kind of like a little bootleg, uh, bootleg of uh, Pandora or some shit like that. And you can stream your shit on there. Uh, yeah, it's the internet radio. I haven't heard my shit on there yet. I've, I've seen uh, your name pops up on like a feature thing, like a other Chicano artist. Yeah. But I, I haven't really, haven't really fucked with. It. I got CDs right here. I'll be bumping like all that Young Boy and little Baby Doggy Style and all that shit. You know, you know I'll be on there, Young Boy. Yeah, hell yeah, you were always bumping that shit. Hey, little Quete just came in here and said Diablo, Young. one of the realest motherfuckers I ever met. Solid as fuck. Quete said it. That's right, Quetta. Much love, man. Hopefully everything's going good for you, man. It's been a minute. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. I'm right here with one of your homeboys, as a matter of fact. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know what? Fucking, uh... Go ahead, go ahead. What's that? Go ahead, D. I don't mean to cut you off. I just got excited. Hey, go ahead. Nah, nah. I was going to say, the homie, the homie oh, Midge... The homie Midget, uh... The homie Midget, huh? I'm trying to pull it up. He said... Wonder if he's in the same yard with two of my life or homies, Cujo and Frog. Frog spent 20 years in the shoe and got a shoe kick. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. From Goleta. Oh, G Raz calling. Oh, I'm right here with Crook. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, he's with Crook. Mitch, if you're listening, he's with the homie Crook. Yeah, I'm right here with Crook from Goleta. I think I remember Crook, too. He used to come to the studio with the homies back in the day. What's up with G-Wix? Man, G-Wix is doing his thing. I saw that fool acting Hollywood in, in Portland. I had to get out of that fool's program. Like, what you acting Hollywood with me for? But he he had some something to say behind the scenes. He's like, I thought you were mad at me. I said, you fucking lost your mind, homeboy. That's the homie from... from I, I got a lot of love for that fool, so I expect a little more from him, but it is what it is. <sighs> Yeah, D Wick's cool, man. He's like, I was just, I was just Whatever hustling crimes. I swear to God, boy, Crazy Boy uh, is just doing his thing. I was talking to him earlier. He's doing a breeding with one of our dogs, Playboy. So he was asking me for the AKC registration and paperwork because he's one of my partners. And uh, yeah, he's doing his thing, bro. He got a new album coming out. Um, working with Dominator still, same same lineup. You know what I mean? Just just pushing. 
Everybody wants to know what's up with Sinner. Yeah, yeah. They're going crazy asking about Sinner. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. Mr. G- Mr. Grandi's in this motherfucker, doggy. What's up, Grandi? <laughs> right. How you been, man? Hell yeah, that's dope, fool. Only word I learned out there was obrigado. Abregado, right, fool? Hey, we were doing it. Hey, man, we're, we're right there killing we it. Hey, that shit was crazy looking. Fool. I don't remember think I ate it. Ate, that shit was fire. Dog, that shit looked crazy. You can't yeah, find that nah, shit nowhere in the world. I never seen that shit again either. I that shit looked like an TJ. alien. Did you? I, I, I found it in TJ, yeah, but it didn't taste the same. That shit was right from the spot right there. Yeah. They said DRR Posse yeah. Crime yeah, Family. I was down there TJ for a minute. How was it down That's there, right. big dog? Oh, that, that shit was grimy. <laughs> yeah? That shit was grimy, dog. It was cool. Yeah, OJ was out there with me for, for a minute. Hell yeah. Shout out to OJ, man. Good people. Yeah, that's my boy. Uh, I, 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 don't, I think he got a new number and shit because I, I ain't got a hold of him and shit. Hey, OJ. I ain't really trying to write no letters or something. Tap in, fool, so we could get uh, D your new number, my boy. Hell yeah, that's yeah, dope. What's as fuck going it. on with the homie, uh, the homie Crook the Felon, and and the uh, homie Obnoxious? I haven't heard from Crook the Felon in years. Yeah, and you know, it's cool. funny. I just ran into Dice One the other day, and I know they're from they're from the same area. And I asked him, and he kind of pretty much said the same thing. Like I ain't heard from that fool in a long time. So I don't know, dog. That's a good question. I wonder what oh, is yeah. up with that fool. Been a way a long time for me. What about Obnoxious? Obnoxious was hard. Obnoxious. That that's that that dude. It was kind of heavy set white boy that spit, right? Yeah, he he's on my song. Uh, uh, he's on my true stories album. Yeah, fucking, yeah, he uh, was hard, hard. Backwoods and Henny. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I haven't heard from him since that. Shit. You know who I liked was Paul Daniel. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the boy right there. Yes, Paul yeah, Daniel. Yeah, he's good. Whatever happened to him? Have you heard anything from him in a long time? Yeah. Now my son, my son said that he had messaged him, told him, told him to tell me what's up and shit, you know? Hell but, yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, man, I, I don't really reach out to a lot of people and shit, you know what I mean? Nah, I know. You've always I, been I really like that. Don't. You've been like that even when yeah. you were free, my boy. You were real, yeah. real, real selective, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I got to keep my circle small and shit, cause, you know what I mean? That's the best way to be. Never know when you got to get to shooting. Uh, I, I need to make sure the guy next to me is going to be shooting too, you know? Damn, that's some real shit. That's some real shit coming from you, my boy, because yeah. we, we know the story now, you know? <laughs> yeah, this, this ain't no rap. I was just talking about my life, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that's probably why so many people gravitate yeah. towards it and feel it, because it comes from a real place, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you know you know what, what what I used to like to do? is when we go to shows and shit, I like to go out there and mingle with the crowd and smoke some some uh, blunt to sit out there with them. Yeah. I used to like interacting with the fans and shit. I always did that every show. Yeah, you did. You sure did. Yeah. What's going on, Craig? Remember, remember when we were in Brazil, they tried to fucking, they tried to uh, rush us in there and shit, like fucking, like fucking we were Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg or something. Oh, that's a it'll fuck. Start, it'll start it's turning. Fuck up for me. <laughs> Nah, for sure. That you seen that international love. Not a lot of homies got to see, dog. I took you uh to Brazil with me. A lot of fools don't know you were international, homie. You got to go see a lot of things that most of these Chicano rappers that claim they're worldwide hey. would never get to see, homie. You were all over the map. When I when I was in Nicaragua, and shout out to my homeboy Criminal who's listening to this, man. Uh, I, I try to call his ass. Uh, I can't figure out how to call down there, but uh. I, I was down there, so I stayed with him for three months. When I one day I was walking down the street and fucking and my now one in Nicaragua and fucking someone stuck their head off the bus and screamed my name and shit. Oh like, what shit! The fuck? That's crazy as fuck. Yeah, I was like, oh, you know, these motherfuckers know me in the jungle. <laughs> That's the real shit, dog. The music goes worldwide, and then on top yeah. of that. <laughs> Now we got people pushing and this shit's even going. I feel like there's a new momentum happening. It's like a new momentum happening right now with like a bunch of new youngsters, you know what I mean? And they're just basically <laughs> pushing. But a lot of these dudes are confused. A lot of them say the N-word. A lot of them say shit like that. Which, it's like you said, Twitch is on. It might not be wrong to everybody, but I just feel like a little bit more pride would carry on through a little bit better. But, hey, who am I to say, you know? Hey, when, yeah, hey, when, when this new album drops, 
when we dropped the first video uh, for it. Yeah. Uh, the new new video. I, I want to see who's doing any kind of numbers so we could do like an overnight challenge on the views and shit. You feel me? Damn. There you hear it there. There you hear it there. Diablo's calling all the artists out on a fucking challenge from the pen with the music videos. That's crazy, homie. You know, you've always been really, really confident in your flow. You've been def definitely step with the with authority, and, and you ride like that. But I don't think they they know, bro, the, the 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 level that you stepped it up musically, bro. Like, uh, there's a reason why you speak this confidently, and I and I can't wait to see what you bring to the game. Yeah. Hey. I, I mean, I, I do my shit. People, people like my shit, man, because it's real. And I got, I got my own style. There ain't no other, other uh, rapper in our genre that, that sounds like me. Not even close. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, well, man, I'm hoping this shit comes out soon. But you know what's crazy? I'm going to have to buy my own CD to hear it. Damn. You have no choice, huh? But fuck it. You won't be able to stream it? I'm going to buy that motherfucker happily. <laughs> I'm going to be happy to buy that motherfucker. Hell yeah, dog. That's dope, homie. That's just, uh, this call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Yeah, that one's going to be good. Fuck yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, the homie Cash, uh, King Cash, uh, we went and did like a fucking 12-hour studio session uh, over there in Hollywood. What's that studio over there in Hollywood? Neighborhood guys? Uh, fucking, uh... Nah, yeah, nah. Some yeah, shit I like that. That's the one. Oh, was it Neighborhood Watch? Neighborhood Watch. Neighborhood right. Watch. I think Neighborhood guys is a fucking uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah King Cash yeah, is going crazy on Swifty Blue right now. They're beefing crazy. He was uh, calling them out. I was on the road. I was on the road going coming back from Portland, dog. And every time I opened my phone to communicate with anybody, a lot of it was through DMs because I was dealing with a lot of these, these lowrider cats through, through DMs. And it was just like nonstop. I mean, this fool was doing the most. He was, just, he was putting clown faces on this fool, calling him out, putting videos of this fool getting called out by youngsters. I guess there's a video going around right now, kind of yeah. going viral. I can't uh, do Swift, that kind of shit. Swifty Blue getting called out by some fools from 18. So he was, he was just diving in on that shit, you know. Um. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh me and Swifty had our issues before. There were really no issues. We had our words, I would say, but uh. You know, that's between us and shit. And fucking, we, we talked and shit, and everything was good. I mean, he hopped on one of my songs and some shit. I don't know if they're still going to put him out on it or not. I'm, I'm in here, so uh really don't know what's going on with all of that. Hell yeah. But, uh, I don't I, I'm not in, I'm not into that, uh, that kind of shit, you know, the back and forth, this and like for views and shit. Some people do it for views. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. A lot of people do. A lot of I people do it for clout, and a lot of people gotta, do it for for attention. You remember when we were doing our shit? People would be tapping in, and I'd be like, "Hey, bro, uh, this person said they apologize behind the scene and shit, or they're just doing it for attention." That's just that's just common, you know. Yeah, I mean, I can't. Yeah, I, I don't know. It is, you know, people are gonna do what they're gonna do to get paid. I guess, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, but you know. Shout out to the army. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. On a positive note, and, 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 none, and none of that, none of that. I'm talking about me personally. I ain't, you know, talking shit about nobody. Nah, I'm for sure. about me personally. Nah, I for sure. You know. Hell yeah. So, That's what's, what's up, up with everybody out there, though, man? Man, everybody's just listening to the story. People are tapping in. People are asking a bunch of questions. Uh, people want to know what's up with you. And uh, some girl asked if you remember the time you went to Mecula and ran into a, a dude with a bunch of pet snakes on them, and you were like, what's up with these snakes? You were, like, feeling them and shit. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. That's my, I said, buy my kids a bunch of snakes and shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're, they're tapping we in. They said it's cracking. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Yeah, that's right. You have 60 seconds remaining. Hell, yeah, they were asking Damn. if you remember that. A lot of people asked about Sinner. Man, I, you know, I, I don't know what Sinner got going on. Uh... I'm supposed to be going out to court soon, so I'm sure I'll see him and be able to talk to him, but I, I don't know, you know, much love to him and hope everything goes good. Little lady should be getting out real soon. Oh, shit. Real soon. Hell he yeah. Be out like any day now. I I actually thought I he was out already. To today. Yeah, hell yeah, that's dope. No, I'm going to hit you back real quick, all right? All right, before it hangs up, it's right. cut out. All right. So let's like they give him 15 minutes at a time. 
They give them about 15 minutes at a time. Is that shit working, Crit? You're a G. You know Critical is one of the best uh, troubleshooting dudes in the game. I start getting all anxiety and crazy. Like, hey, dog, this isn't going to work. Call me. What the fuck? That fool just look at me all like serious with the most serious face and just be like, calm down, Krabs. I got it. <laughs> fuck. I was, I, what do you want me to do? They stopped giving me a riddle when I was like 10. Damn. 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 And replaced it with meth and crack. Triple damn. Triple, triple dosage of triple down. What's up, homie? What's cracking with everybody? From Big Villain, we got Paul Void in here. Paul, Paul Void. Paul Void, we gave you a props and shout out. And we said shout out to your daughter, man. Shout out to the homie Big Villain. This is Global Tail Link. You have a prepaid call from Jason Ryan. Oh, shit. I tried to play the music. An inmate at. The Pelican Bay State Prison, Crescent City, California. Shout this call State. and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. You have a prepaid call. You will not be charged for this call. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using Global Tail Link. Yeah, yay. Yeah. We hey, back on. Yes, sir. Uh, I, 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 yeah, cool. I got a few more minutes and shit, but before I end up... Before we hang up, I just want to let everybody know I appreciate all the love. Uh, uh, all my fans that I met and shit, I'll probably smoke some weed with you and shit. So, you know, I send my love out to you guys. Colorado treated me real good. I got, I made a lot of friends out there and shit. Hopefully everybody's doing good. Uh, I, I'm good right here. Uh, I'm going to get it cracking. People are going to start hearing my name more. I guarantee that. And, uh, I'm sure when this if this gets put on uh, YouTube or something, we gonna get some views off of this bitch. That's for sure. Oh, for sure. I'll wait till the music drops. But uh, yeah, all the homies I used to fuck with out there, much love. Shout out to all my homeboys from my neighborhood. I love all you motherfuckers, man. Hell yeah. Happy in with me. Hell yeah. That's how we do it. You guys yeah, heard it from uh, the homie. It said it the, the battery exhausted. Grandi. Oh, what happened? Nah, nah. I think our batteries just died. One of the batteries just died. Nah, we're listening though. It's a, uh, it's a. Uh, we're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. I didn't mean to cut you off. I thought I hit mute when I told critical that. My bad. But nah, nah no worries. No worries. Nah, everybody loves it. Everybody loves the fact that uh, you're in this <laughs> motherfucker right now. We definitely got a lot of views. We got a lot of people tapped in right now as we speak. It's it's a beautiful thing, bro. Uh, you definitely still got a lot of a lot of uh, support. They say where's critical tech support service. <laughs> Nah, we back on. We, we back, back on. we back. We're all the way back live. But nah, man, it's a dope thing to see the support. We got people all over the world. And the dude that was uh, actually in Denver, uh, that 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 was that that communicated with me and let me know that you got when when you had your uh, the bus got raided from the SWAT team, crime friendly bus got raided. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> he that said it was crazy. He said, "What's up, dog? Remember me? I was the one that said was cracking when the when the bus got raided." <laughs> tell, tell us about that day, my boy. How the sh fuck did that happen? <laughs> tell the story on that real quick. How did that shit even happen? You woke up and they were oh, already nah, in the bus? Nah, nah. It was, this was like in the afternoon. We were chilling right there at the uh, at the Mex Mall. Okay. On Colfax right, right there. And fucking, uh, 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 and that shit was cool out there. Hey, well, we were chilling and I was looking on my phone and the homie youngster was looking at his camera. And I I seen him like moving, like he had his hands up. I'm like, what you doing? And he's like, the cop. So I looked out the front window, and I just seen a gang of, uh, like you know, the SWAT team running up with ARs and shit from from the front. So when I opened the door, I looked out, and and, and they came from my right hand side, like uh, get the fuck out, come over here, all that good shit, you know. Yeah. But uh, it was just some of other bullshit, you know. You know how it is in the industry, so. You know, they was out there trying to take my DNA samples for some other cases. Nah, I remember that. I but, remember the, the you know, homie. The, the homie hit me was like, hey, bro, your bus is getting raided. Right guy. And I was like, nah, it's not getting raided. The homie's in fucking Denver right now taking care of business. They're like, nah, it was getting raided. And then they sent me a picture with like fucking 50 SWAT officers <laughs> around it. I was like, yeah, maybe this is true, huh? <laughs> I was calling your phone. It was, hey, it was, straight it was, it was a trip. Yeah, and it was a trip because for days, homie, like, if I will go live on Instagram, it will be like a a, a profile, like, we're, we're watching you and all this type of stuff, and next thing I know, we got raided. Damn, like, they weren't the, playing, I, huh? I didn't take it seriously. What, like, there nah, were, like, fake profiles telling you? On a, on a, 
no, on the live, I don't know what it was, but they were like, we're, we're watching you, or why you ain't pull up over here today, all that type of shit. Damn. And I was like, damn, these motherfuckers really watching me. And then uh, one, the day before we got raided, we were in Aurora somewhere, and fucking, I looked across the street, and I remember telling the homie youngster, like, hey, those look like undercovers and shit. And he's like, oh, yeah, this, I think that is. And we, we left. So, uh, Next day we got raided. It, it was just, it was a trip. But someone hit me up on on DM and was like, "Hey, we want to buy some tickets to the show and shit, you know?" And I, I look and and uh, it's like the profile picture is like some fucking girl and shit. And so I tell her, "Yeah, well, just meet me over here. You can buy the tickets." And uh, when they they were like, "We're on our way," it was the cops. The cops are the ones that were over there talking about they want to buy tickets and shit, acting like they were some girl. Damn, that's some scandal that shit. That shit was crazy. They're asking, they're asking if you've been <laughs> writing rhymes on your tablet. Nah, I haven't wrote. I haven't wrote not one song since I've been locked up. Not one song since. So you... anything I do from here is gonna be, it's gonna be fresh. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Everything it... will be like brand brand new. Exclusive shot that says that that mass video is still on the way. He's just looking for a few more characters to play the play the characters, a few more people to play the characters. All right. Cool. Tell him I said good looking. Oh yeah, he said good looking. Tell him, tell him to download the, tell him to download this app and tap in with me. This whole we could talk personally. Hell yeah, I'll send it to him. It's uh it's called, it's called Getting Out yeah. app. Download that shit, exclusive. I'm gonna send you the info. Yeah. They want to know if you've yeah, been drawing. Yeah. yeah, this way we. Oh yeah, I've been tattooing and all that shit. Hell yeah. They, people keep asking to freestyle yeah. like crazy. They want to hear you spit something. Give them eight bars or something. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. They said, nah, you got to pay for that. that <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Hell yeah, this was a G. He said, nah, homie, you got to hit my subscribe, homie. Fuck all that. Yeah, yeah, I got to get, get paid for that. Hell yeah. I'm be asking me that shit sometimes. In the county and shit, like, nah, I'm good. I got to get paid for that. You know what's dope, though? I'm going to let everybody oh, know. Man. I don't have to pay. When I when Sometimes when he calls me, he'll be like, crimes, I'm going to spit you some shit. I'm like, hell yeah. So this I, call I and to, your I telephone number will be hear. monitored and recorded. I definitely get to hear that shit. You were spitting some hard shit last time you were showing me. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Uh, uh, I, was, I was excited about the songs. I was <laughs> yeah, they're hard as fuck, too. Yeah. Hell, hell and yeah. I didn't even get to finish them. Like half this album, I didn't even finish it. The homie fucking showed love and finished it. Got got people on it. Most of most of the features that are on it are are, are done while I've been in prison. So some of these artists, I never even got the chance to interact with them. You know what I mean? But all the uh, reviews that the homie gave me from them was like, you know, they was kind of all like, "Where this fool been?" You know? Yeah. Where's he at? Nah, for sure. And they found out the situation and. They, and they all showed love, you know what I mean? That's dope as fuck, huh? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I just wish I could have been out there. I, I wish I could have been out there for it in, in these videos. You know what I mean? I took a big L on all this shit, homie, but I mean, I, I got to make the best of the situation, you feel me? Nah, for sure, homie. And definitely you are. And, and you're a you smart I mean? man from doing it now. Yeah, you, 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 you know me. I'm always thinking of, of, of the a way to make dollars, you feel me? You've always been a hustler, I'm dog. I'm plotting all the time. You've always been a hustler. You've always been ahead. You'd always show up to the fucking shoots, Jordan out, head to toe, the freshest shit, brand new cameras, brand new drones. We used to call you at one point. Remember, it was like an inside thing with, with the homies. would be like, the high-tech cholo D just pulled up. This motherfucker had everything, dog, ahead of everybody. I remember that shit. Jay's brand new, the day of the drop. Like, you always killing the game, my boy. Always were ahead. Thirty pairs of the retros. Shit, definitely, homie. I remember. Yeah. Couple. I remember you had the A7s or the A7 before anybody. Sony. Hey man, this shit, this shit they sell us in here. I look at it like, man, I, I would never wear this shit on the streets. What the fuck? Damn. <laughs> it been a long time since I've been busted. So I forgot like the shoes, the shoes and all that shit. I, I thought they were a little better. You know what I mean? Yeah. How they feel? Well, they're you know, uncomfortable yeah, as a motherfucker, I'm, huh? I'm, I'm, I'm. What's that? I said they're uncomfortable as a motherfucker, or, or how they feeling? 
Nah, nah. I, I just like Jordans and shit. You know what I mean? That motherfucker should have gave me a fucking uh, uh, what's that motherfucker called? Uh, uh sponsor. He should have sponsored my motherfucking ass because much shit I bought off his ass. Right. They got um, a new mo- they got a new movie about his life story. You yeah. hear about it? They got the the flight or the Air Jordan movie. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for that motherfucker to come out right here. Hell yeah. Yeah, and, and don't count out the Patriots, man. You know what I mean, I know everybody used to hate on me and shit, talk shit about my Patriots, but <laughs> we gonna fuck it up sooner or later. <laughs> hey, you used to go, you used to go deep with the family. Yeah. Y'all patriated out to go to the games. I remember that. You used to put. You even went to the Bay Area one time, yeah. all, all repping. Remember? Yeah, I went to Frisco. Me, and my brother, and my son. I remember that we shit. Went to the game got rained on all day. Damn. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. But I'm 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 gonna get going, man. I gotta take care of some shit. But uh, it was a pleasure talking to you guys. Um, I'm glad everybody tapped in. I appreciate all the love. Be on the lookout for the new album and shit, man. Anyone wants to get some shirts, hit up my homeboy at Mondo underscore ninety nine. You got him on deck. Hell yeah! In Instagram, uh, Mondo ninety nine. All day, homie. Much love and respect. God bless you. We uh, we'll definitely appreciate your time, Karna, and keep on doing your thing, my boy. You guys have a good night. Hell yeah. Much love, D. There it is. You guys heard it right there. For everybody that's been asking for a minute, asking about what happened to the homie, where he's been, his story, the whole nine. You guys heard it straight. That's why I've been little sprinkles here and there, because through the letters and our conversations, we already had this plan. So I wanted, I didn't want to tell the story for him. I didn't want to update you guys for him. I wanted him to speak to you guys and let you guys know because we have the opportunity to do that. D-Boy, Isai Riva in the house. Shout out to Isai Riva. Shout out to all the homies out here in the IE. You know how we do it. Much love from your homeboy, Mr. Criminal. What kind of shoes they give you in there? Don't tell me they cut off the toe and try to call it that Air Jordan. That's right. He said, what's the amount? I'll pay right now. What's the amount of what, big dog? Some things don't have a price on it. They said free boxy shorty loony. That's right. Hell yeah. Washington State is tuned in. We were just in Tacoma. That motherfucker was gangster out there. There was a part of Tacoma we hit that was just the grimiest shit, homie. The grimiest shit. I had my Glock right there in my imagination. I was like, pew, pew, pew. Nah. <laughs> I was like, just in case, we got it. I got my water gun. Super Soaker. Who remembers Super Soakers back in the days in the summertime? I was fucking everybody up. My homeboy Junior, when I was a kid, used to have this big ass water gun. They had a motherfucking <laughs> like hose on it. You pull that shit and it was soaking everybody. Who wants to take some phone calls? We got the homie Opina about to pull up in here. We're going to do a quick interview with the homie. Let's see where he's at right now, Opina. You guys heard of Opina? He's gonna tell a story real quick. Is this one? Is this one uh, charging? While well, this one's yeah. dying? While well, this one's dying. <laughs> cool. <laughs> there, there we are. We'll take a few calls right now while we're on here. Here, I'm gonna hang this up. Let's take a few calls. We're gonna do it right now. Let's go ahead and hit notifications. Bonnie and Clyde show next. His baby girl, Mr. Criminal, and we ain't gonna be talking about no motherfucking aliens next time. You'll be talking about some life shit, relationships, couple goals, building businesses together, all that kind of shit. Surviving odds of being a young couple against all odds with the young young family. All right, I'm opening up the lines, 213-592-7721. And I'm just trying to find my app so I can turn it back on, the notifications. And we will be like, oh, yeah, I got to go in the app. <laughs> got to go in the flow, not out of the flow. Shout out to everybody. And here we are. We're live just like that. This shit's about to start blowing up. I know it is. Let me put this shit on. Turn off this shit real quick. Let me put this shit on here. Hold up. Let me hurry up because if they beat me to it, I ain't going to have no chance. All right, the lines are officially open. Boom, just like that. We already on. What's cracking? You on there live with Mr. Criminal? I should cut out already. I put this right here. Let me close. Seven this. six zero. 
Hold on. Hold on, guys. I know you guys are fuck. I'm getting calls like crazy. All right, hold up, hold up. Let me set this up. Could you guys get a little crazy with the phone calls? Here we go. Five. Five, five, nine in the house. You're on live with Mr. Criminal. What's popping? That's cutting you guys out. There's too many people calling. What's cracking? You're on live with Mr. Criminal. He's doing that weird shit again. Ah, I hate when it does this. Three. Yeah. You guys want to open the door for him? What's cracking? You're on live with Mr. Criminal. What's popping? Three, two, three. Six zero two six five one. Four, oh, yeah, she's going crazy. What's up? You're on live with Mr. Criminal. What's popping? Yo. You What's guys up, Mr. Criminal? Him? What's popping? How you guys doing? We're good. We're good. Hell yeah. What's popping? Talk to me. What's popping? You're on live. Talk, uh, talk to me. Cut around and hang up. Tomorrow. You can let him in. It's Opina. Talk to me, homie. All right, I'm hanging What's up. That? You're on live with Mr. Criminal. What's popping? Oh, Pina was cracking. That's my wife. I'm not sure. Uh, 209-443-0819. What's popping? You're on live with Mr. Criminal. What's popping? How you doing tonight? You guys want to pull up a, a chair for him? Fine. What's cracking? Hey, what's up with it, G? What's popping? Talk to me. You're on live. Hey, what's up with what's up with Sinner though? Sinner. I, I got kept asking that question as well. What's up with him? I think Diablo spoke on it, homie. We we, we just wishing him the best. He's dealing with a trial. He's dealing with some situations. We wish him the best. We send our love to him, to him and his family. That's always gonna be crime family. And uh, yeah, man, shout out to Sinner. Oh, Pina, pull up. Yeah, like like like, bro, man. That, that guy would speak to me like whenever I message him, like. He would actually like talk back and shit. Like he was we'll a good homie. And then we'll just go depth of field right here and put it on focus so we could both be seen right here for right now. And then we're good. Hell yeah, we got the homie Opina just pulled up in the motherfucking building. Shout out to the homie. What's cracking, fool? What's up, criminal? Good Shout to see out, you, Karna. Hell yeah, you already know. Cracking, Hell yeah, we're about to set you up right now. We live. We keeping this shit going. We had Diablo in the in the first hour, and now we got Opina in the motherfucking building. Let's get them set up with the mic. Give us a minute on the on the on the thing. We're gonna stop taking phone calls for a minute. Let's get them set set up. So yeah, if we could just put it this way, and then like we usually do, and then face it just this way. Go ahead and twist this this way, like towards him. Boom. And then we'll just put it into focus. You know what I'm talking about? To uh, if we turn if we yeah, if we turn these, it won't be so uh, blurry. And then we'll be straight. You could turn that all the way to where it's clear. Robert, you want to take over that while he's doing it? Mess with the uh, the aperture. Yeah, you know what's up. And then just turn on the um, turn up the other shit. Yeah. And then let's get a mic check, Opino. Let's get let's get you with the headphones. Yeah, mic check. Yeah, we'll put this closer to you so you're nice and comfortable. If you want to scoot up over here so you're a little bit more on the camera. Yeah, there you go. It's all good. It's all good. Right there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I love this shit. We live, baby. Shit, That's how you know we're shit. really live. Yes, this shit is real. We got Opino in the building. Hell yeah. We're about to get into the story. We're about to talk about it. You know what I'm talking about? And then all you got to do is turn it down and then put the ISO up. Oh, now there we go. And we are officially live. Shit, Let's get on some headphones. Can you hear yourself, Opina? Yeah, I can hear myself. Microphone check one, two. You hear yourself? Yes, sir. All right. We on, baby. What's and we up, back. Criminal? Man, What's it up, feels crime? good, big dog. And we got to do it all the way back official for you, homie. We Hell can't yeah. just start it's like been this. A minute, man. We got to do it like this. This is Jimbo's foot. This is Fire Low. This is Goldie. Mr. Criminal, your homeboy Steven Lewis. Your homeboy Ricardo giving a shout out. Yo, what's cracking? It's me, Alvino. This is Veronica. It's Monique from Atlanta. Yeah. Calling in from the San Fernando Valley. Calling from Montebello. Already on Wicked Boulevard every weekend. And we back, baby. From South Central Los Angeles. Supporting the crime family. And I see all my people tapped in all over the map. Southern California to worldwide, baby. I support crime family. And we appreciate the love. <laughs> that shit feels good to hear. Mr. Criminal on air live 2023, the most realist and active podcast on the motherfucking West Coast. Numbers lie. Never. That's men and women that do that job. We out here killing the game. Episode number 17. Diablo was in the building the first hour of the episode. Yes, and I'm very proud to say we got my homie. This is long overdue. We got the homie Opina. 
in the motherfucking building today. What's cracking, Carter? Now, how you doing, homie? What's up, Cry? It's been a minute, dog. Since Man. We linked up, big it, dog. If it's been a minute. Yeah. And we were talking about the history yesterday. We were talking about the come up, the story, getting a little bit to know each other a little bit more. Yeah, a couple times, a couple times. And I'm sure. excited, homie. I'm excited to have you in the building. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited, excited to talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the grind, the hustle, the come up, the struggle, the Man. victory. I want to talk about it all. We're going to talk about it tonight. Um, critical. Yes, sir. We never talked about the motherfucking news, Hood TMZ. What are we talking about? What do we have? Let's see. I know we got something. I know. I just... Hunter yeah. Biden was cocaine the fuck out. I saw out, that, bro. And they just found cocaine <laughs> in the in White the House. Yeah, what yeah. the hell? They said it was on the West Wing. Why do they always got to blame it on the West Side, though? <laughs> Damn. Tell, tell me why. I didn't even think about that. I, I thought about that because I'm a West Side crack. crack baby. Oh, wow. Wiz. I was like, Wes? <laughs> they got found in the West Wing. I was like, Wes? Yeah, hell yeah. That's oh, man, dope, I got bro. some news, bro. Talk. Yo, Talk ins- Instagram just released their um, their Twitter um, competitor. Like, uh, they're trying to compete with Twitter. What is that going to be? It's called Threads. Threads, huh? Yeah, it just got released. At, uh, it got released today, actually. That's a good name. Yeah. I so like it's Threads. Exactly, it, I mean, it looks just like Twitter, bro. Yeah? Yeah, but, uh, but it's the Instagram version. It's... Um, mm. I mean, we'll see where it goes, you know what I mean? But I know it got released today. Hell yeah. What do you think about Instagram threads, Opina? Were you going to be uh, using that? Shit, bro. Man, I'm old school. I just like I like Instagram. I like going out there and just getting it myself, dog. Yeah. Hell Doing yeah. shows, you know, I think that speaks volumes, you know? Um, you know, the grind like we were talking about. Yeah. You know, I just feel blessed. I feel blessed that uh, I'm able to come this far in a short period of time make my mark, dog, you know? Because uh, it's like I was telling some, some young homies, you know? They got big, big Instagrams, you know, but, uh, you know, if you don't put in the time and the work, nobody will know who you are. That's true. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, right now I'm struggling with my Instagram because it got taken down. And uh, I see, like, people that got, like, 20,000 views, but I don't think they could get on your podcast because they're not in the loop. That's crazy, right? Right? They didn't grind. They, they haven't made that name where they made them connections and the and the sacrifices and, and linked up with people and met people. People want to meet you. And make that real, real organic connection. Yeah. And really, really touch the people's hands. Yeah. And they could really is. know that you're not just behind a screen on some fake Fugazi exactly. shit. When you could really look a motherfucker in the eyes, shake their hand, and really just feel them from head to toe. Yeah. Their aura, their energy, their fucking vibe. You know what I'm saying? Not, too many, not too many people have it, you know? Yeah. So, you know, I used to say that a long time ago when I used to do, you know, I didn't do a lot of time, but I did some time. And... I just used to be like humble, like, yo, I'm Opina. And then people would be like, nah, you're somebody, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just, you you, you have that good energy. So I always carried that with me. You, know you always you know kept saying? that with me, dog. When I first met you, yeah. you had a good ass energy. I was tapped in. I was like, man, I got to check out what's going on in here. I remember I walked in the front studio. There was a couple studios like in the building. I yeah, I remember that. And you were in the front front room. Uh-huh. And I was like, let me hear that shit again. And you were like, hell yeah, play the shit for the homie criminal. I remember hearing that shit. And I was like, the homie spitting some real shit. Yeah. And I remember that was my first impression of you. You looked in my eyes, you never looked away. You told me your mission in life, what you were in the game to do. You said, as a matter of fact, like, this is what I'm gonna do. I ain't here to step on no toes, but I'm gonna let motherfuckers know who a peanut is. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so, gossip. And that's gossip. what it is, dog. So I appreciate that. Uh, tell them about the story, homie. Tell them where it started. Tell them, tell them where the, the birth of the love of the music happened. Like, let, let's give yeah, them all man, the way. You know, uh, I grew up in a little in a little small town in Imperial Valley. Yeah. Uh, an island, California. You know, it's a, it's a town of about 900 people. Mm-hmm. Very small. Uh, you know, same story as everybody else. Not here to, to cry about it. You know, we all come from a, a background of uh, uh, moms, dads, uncles in prison, and and you know, uh, poor, uh, drug infested, of course, by the border. You know, so. Uh, my love for the music is inspired by a lot of that. I use a lot of that in my music. I guess they call it trapping, but yeah. I don't. I don't call it that. You know, I call it. You know, that's just my life that I see. You feel me? So, it's just different. And and I I came I came from that. I moved to Riverside when I was young, and um, the inspiration for music came um, when I when I had a heart attack. You know, and I got this machine in. Uh, I didn't know what I was gonna do, dog, because uh, a lot of a lot of jobs weren't hiring at that time. Like. They didn't have all these new laws in where they got to have, you know, they were a little bit more ruthless. You know, if you had like a condition, they weren't going to hire you. You know what I'm saying? Now they have like laws and shit. You got to have, you can't do this to that person. So I was putting in application. I was getting denied. So I was like, man, I got to, I got to get back on the grind. So I I jumped into music, man. And it just, it just went for me. You know, I I had a, I felt like um, it was very difficult 
to get in. And uh, I started off with um, with Python. Yeah. I'm going to give, give him his, you know. Hell and yeah. uh, Cynic. Yes, Cynic, sir. yeah. So I started with them, and, uh, you know, they, they put me up on game. And from there, I kind of just went my own direction. Just like, like you know, when you got to, when it's time for the, we're all lions, you know what I'm saying? But when it's time for the lion to do his own thing, you know what's up, you know? Yeah. It's time for you to go and do your own thing. Yeah. You know, no love lost, no uh, no hate towards their way. They grind and do their thing in their own way. And I just wanted to do something, something different for myself, you know? Yeah. And uh, so we, I just uh, started, like, doing my own shows and getting out there. I wanted to expand the name and, and the brand, you know? Yeah. And that's what it takes. It takes you to get out there and get moving. Fuck yeah. You know? And if you don't, it's, it's very it's very hard to uh, come up. Hell yeah. What were some of the, some of the struggles coming up in the game i would say first first without having like someone to to put you on that's because python and cynic they're definitely homies that have been doing their thing but they've never been like on a level of like next level in the rap game right so yeah. you got you had you guys are all getting your name up what would be some of the some of the struggles for upcoming artists that you could give them like a, a pointer to get past that that first uh, threshold i, I would say um to be honest with you i would say register your name okay learn to do that uh audium um BMI, uh, get those nickels and dimes. Those 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 count. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, learn learn the business side of the music. Uh, stack your money because you need it for studio. You need it because when you start off and you're going out of state, you're not always getting a bag. You know that at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe you got a bag from the get go. I don't yeah. know. For me, I I didn't get a bag at the beginning. So, explain that. Explain that to the people so they know. So 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 like when you do shows out of state. Um, if you have numbers and you're and you're doing numbers, you most likely will get a bag. You know, if you're doing semi numbers, you're probably not going to get a bag. So you you have to have money to. You may get like half the bag, maybe you get 400, but then you might not get the flight or the hotel. So now you got to think to yourself, is it going to be worth it to go do that show? You know, is the comeback going to be worth it? Should I invest and do that? Yeah. And and that's that's the hustle and the sacrifice you have to think about. For me, I always looked at it that way. And if I could get a certain amount of people that fuck with me in real life and I could hit the show, then I'll do it. If it wasn't worth it to me, then I wouldn't do it. Yeah. So I recommend to the young homies, you know, make sure you got a bag because it takes a bag to get a bag. It definitely does. You know what I'm saying? And that's like investing in yourself and that's also like uh, giving away that first first hit of dope free. It's like giving yeah. that first sack of crack away for, for free. Like they're going to come back. They're going to come back. Yeah. If you believe yeah. in your shit that much and you go out and travel away from your family and go hit the road that hard, you got to believe in your product. If yeah. not, you're just, you're just out there wasting time. There's a lot of people that are out there for the wrong reasons, and they'll weed themselves out. So I think that it's important for up-and-comers to see both sides of it, the, the people that get the bags and then the people that earn their way up to deserve a bag from out there getting there yeah. and putting in that time, putting in that yeah. work, putting in that mileage, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? What happened? Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the, the road is the road, uh, if you're taking it that, um, you know, the independent way, yeah, and it's like it, it, the grind is uh, it's tougher. Yeah, for you know, sure. You, if you get lucky on a couple songs and a couple hits, hey, I'm not hating. Get your bag and and you got lucky. But yeah. For most of us, it's a grind. It's it's definitely it, the from stairs, the, from right? The beginning, man, long stairs. Yeah, long <laughs> stairs. But it is worth it when you get to the top. And Even start if, when you're younger. Yeah, start when you're younger. Start when you're young. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that yesterday, <laughs> yeah, dog. Start yeah, start when you're sure. younger, man, because it's it's a it's a uphill road. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So speak about speak about some of the struggles of, of having the, the heart monitoring chest like how, how did that so, so, work trip out out, with so music? back in 2009 i got this machine i hadn't rapped yet but I, I you know um it took a few years to adjust when i got the first one and um you know you get short of breath uh dizzy lightheaded stuff like that right so i had a show in omaha yeah uh, uh, my first gig they were gonna pay me it was in nebraska and man, I felt like I was on dog. I was like, hell yeah, like I got my first bag. I'm going to Omaha. Yeah. So as I was um getting closer to the to the plane, the flight date, I knew that I couldn't do it, dog. I wasn't in physical shape. At that time, I was like really, really heavy. And um I hadn't like cut the diet yet. I hadn't, you know, because yeah, that's essential yeah. when you have a when you have a heart problem, you know? So I actually skipped the bag. And I remember I hadn't flown for like 10 years since like 03. Damn. So 
you know, I was a little bit anxious, but I had went to my doctor at Loma Linda, and he was like, nah, he was like, you're not gonna make that flight. Your blood pressure is too, so it took me like two years to get my body in shape. Damn. Then I took a flight. Got you. You had to get physically ready, like condition yourself. Ready, yeah. Like I had to fight. A, yeah. So Damn. I had to like hit the diet. I had to hit the gym. And then I knew it like I felt. Then, then when I had a show, I felt that that strength and I was like, I can make it. But even then, that first flight was a little nerve wracking. I learned uh, different, different ways to uh, combat the symptoms, you know, while monoplane. You know, sometimes you got to double up on the medicine or you got to. So th those are some of the struggles I go through, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, uh, but it's like, I, it's like I was telling uh, one of the homies, once I step on the court, I'm not looking for any uh, passes. Because it's like, ba I play a lot of basketball. So like, if you're playing sports, like I play basketball, I don't ever step on the court and say, hey, I got a machine in my heart, don't hit me there. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I, once I'm on the court, you go hard. We going, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if I'm there, that means that I'm there with my camp, with my people, and I'm letting them know I'm gonna lead you guys. We're going, and I'm not gonna say nothing. If so, if I do feel a certain way, I'll go to the hotel and and lay down. Yeah. Because I have, I'm okay. I have enough money to get a hotel, and you know what I'm saying. That's yeah. why I tell these young homies save your bag because sometimes you gotta have it set up a certain way where you're where you're comfortable. Yeah. You want to be comfortable no matter uh, uh, healthy or sick, right? Yeah. You know, if you can be comfortable, then it's a lot It's a lot easier for you. So, Hell yeah. Yeah, but when you're uncomfortable, like I said, like those are some of the struggles, you know, uh, dizzy, lightheadedness. Um, I would say people in my camp mostly know those things because they're around me. Mm -hmm. I don't openly go on Instagram and like, you know, hey, today I put your business almost on. fucking passed out three times, you know? But the people in my camp, they know what it is. And they feed off that energy because it, it makes them uh, feel like they got to do more because they're healthy. Yeah. They're like, if Opina's going hard, like we got to go triple. Yeah. So that's that's the vibe I like to give off. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? As we pushing, even if it's hot, the hot the hot days are the worst days. Shows in Phoenix, Albuquerque. We did a show in Santa Fe, if you remember. Yeah. One time. Yeah. 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 So you know uh, those those shows are. A little more difficult, but I get it done. Hell yeah! And, and I don't complain. Once you're on the playing field, <clears throat> you know you, you're there to play. You're there to compete, and whatever comes your way, you deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah! You know how it is. And, and, and you're going against more sacrifice than I would say most artists, because it definitely takes sacrifice to be in this game. Yeah. But the sacrifice you're putting is, I would say, a little bit more than a challenge. More, more of a challenge than most artists have. You're not letting that be an excuse. Just like the homie Big Tim's, he's in a wheelchair. Exactly. And he pushes harder than most motherfuckers. Hard. That ain't. Who pushes so hard, though, it's yeah. dope to see. Yeah. We had like combos, you. too. We had combos, yeah. too. Yeah, I, I seen him at Joe's, and, you know, he's a good homie, and he's doing his shit, you know. And yeah. we don't know nobody nothing. You know, we, we, we get up every day, we grind, and uh, and we don't complain. So Hell you know, yeah. only the people, like I said, in my circle know know uh, the grind. And yeah. when it's all said and done, they'll, they'll spread exactly what happened on this run. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a grind. And like I said, on the playing field, it's all go, dog. You know? So, yeah. Hey, it's funny because right now, some, uh, we were talking about, uh, um, let's ring up that show. We did a show at Club Cadillac. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Marina Valley. Marina Valley. So true about, uh, I told the homie right now, hey, I'm pulling up the crimes, uh, uh, podcast and shit, you know? Yeah. And uh, he's like, I was there. So he sent me all the videos of you in the bathroom. Yeah. I got them all, dog. Well, going off with my face? Yeah, yeah, I have them all. It yeah. has, it has well, you. I guarantee one thing, yeah. I was pissed the fuck off. I guarantee I was burning because I had pepper spray on my motherfucking face. That's all I remember. Yeah, I have the videos. I was like, man, no, it, it doesn't look that bad. It just looks like you you were hot. You were yeah, hot. I was pissed as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It was Ralph, my homie Ralphie. He, uh, he sent me the videos and he's yeah. like, they're all fucking perfect. So I have them. I was like, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Because he has sent them before. Speak on that night. Yeah, that night. Okay, so, look, and I'm not even bragging, but this is some of the struggles we're talking yeah, about. Yeah. So, you know, um, so that night, me, me and Crimes, we, we both got, we both caught a fade. Crimes was different, though. Yours was later. <laughs> yeah. Yours was later. Like, Mine was a little bit later. And, uh, uh, so, you know, uh, it's just the way the rap game is. You know, someone was hating on me, and uh, shit, man, I got to, the, to your show. And uh, we kicked it off. We just started scrapping right there, right on the, on the, um, on the side. There was like a little ramp that went down. I got pepper sprayed, tased. I broke my hand, broke my uh, my fingers, 
fractured my arm. I had a cast on for like like six months. Yeah, it was bad, and uh, you know they pulled me out, and then so I, I get to the I get to a spot. I'm over there with the homies, and then I get all these calls. They're like, "Crimes just beat up somebody too." I'm like, "Where? When?" <laughs> If someone tried to reach out or something on stage or something, I just remember. And uh, allegedly, allegedly, yeah, my bad. Allegedly, it might have been my my twin. They say I got a clone <laughs> out there. But I heard he was beating the shit out that dude. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Yeah. Pro props to him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah. Sometimes people try to bring bad energy to you, and they yeah. try to fuck up a good energy. It's and, true. And, and, and when you have a smile on your face, and you present yourself as like, oh, it's all good. Sometimes some people take a little advantage of that, and sometimes you just gotta. Just gotta, gotta let your it. clone know what's Sometimes, get him. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Once in so, a while. Yeah, yeah. So, so shout out to my, yeah. my 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 good twin that always has my back out yeah, there, no shit. matter what. Shout out to man, I got lucky that night. Yeah. That motherfucker was big. I was, was try, I wasn't even trying to fight. I ain't gonna lie, dog. Yeah. But you know, when once you once it happens, it's like you know your instinct. It's go time. Go time. That's yeah. why I try not to get into. You could be shit. humble and like I'm the nicest person, dog. To be honest with you, you know I coach basketball, bro. Yeah. In Riverside, been mm -hmm. doing it for. 13 years. Hell yeah. And we're taking a, me and my uncle from Riverside, we're taking a, a nine year old team yeah. in October. So we're going to get, I've been gone for like a, a year and a half because of my health. Yeah. But now I'm back strong. So we're taking a nine year old team out of Riverside and we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to do travel ball. We're going to take them uh, uh, out of state, Hell yeah. in state. We, we, we pay most of the hotels, you know, yeah. we put our money in for these kids out here. And then uh, a lot of the kids that we've coached to play for colleges, so yeah. we're really proud of that, you know. Or especially that's my uncle with my last name, my dad's brother. So he, um, I always give him props, man, because he he played basketball for UC Irvine, D one. Yeah. He was like one of the first Mexicans to play D one. Yeah. So he was dope. You that's know? dope. He was, he was really good. Yeah. So we get that balling, uh, the balling uh, basketball from my dad. My dad was really good, and my uncles they all played. My uncle played D one. So. Uh, we love to coach the kids and, you know, um, seeing them grow. Because I'll probably make another 13-year run. So That's by the dope. time these kids will be 22. So when I see them out here, they're always like, what's up, coach? That's yeah, yeah. That's, that's so, safe. You're making impacts on life. Yeah, we love that shit, dog. Yeah. It's it's good. And um, we don't want to see nobody. Uh, and whatever I do, I don't ever want to see someone held down. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just not right. You know, um, we should be teaching the young homies how to, get their dollars absolutely you know and play, uh, when we coach basketball we should be teaching them every move that we know yeah and not holding back because mm -hmm. what's the good in that straight up when you know they might have the new style because they're way younger and then we have a lot of the old stuff mm -hmm. mix it together it's gonna come out even better yeah for sure you know what i'm saying so we don't hold back i don't ever uh not show them stuff yeah Speaking, yeah. speaking on anything that's negative on my show, not that, that, that you're trying to, but it's my job to flip it to positive. So I want to ask you a question. Yes, sir. Being that we're both under the same umbrella that we work with this Latin rap as, as our background, what is it going to take for our people to not fuck up shows like that? What is it going to take for Alpina to pull up to a show and be celebrated and not catch a fade? What is it going to take for a Mr. Criminal to be able to do a show and not have to beat the shit out of somebody after his show? I think, I think, what, it, I think what it takes is just... Um, People have to get off that uh, energy that why me, why him and not me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like why criminal and not me. Uh, that's what I think a lot of it is, is, you know, they can't be happy that I'm sick already. Mm -hmm. They got to be happy that I'm not even in the in, uh, making any songs to impact people. That's why. You see what I'm saying? And yeah. it's, it's like, why him and not me? It's not even about why him rapping and not me. No, it's why is he shining and I'm not shining. Mm -hmm. We got to get rid of that mentality. You know, if you're, if you're not meant to be there, it's just not meant to be. I always, when I post a lot of um, stuff on the internet, I'm always giving props to people that got nine to fives. Mm -hmm. Because to me, you're, you're my hero, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and not everybody can do what we do and own an independent business. Straight up. It's just not, it's certain people were it's made with that energy. Cards, yeah. yeah, they were made with that energy that, that God gave us. Mm -hmm. And I'm just being real. And other people are made with a uh, different energy, like like the main high school coach at a high school. Like, man, I, I just give him props because that's what he's special at. Even, even, even a janitor. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, they're shining in a different way. Yeah. And I just think a lot of people think because we're, we're a little bit in the limelight, they don't want to see us... Uh, 
go any higher, Don. You know, they don't, they want to see us suffer. For sure. Unfortunate. It, I think it starts with communication. <clears throat> and that's, that's number one. And I think that another thing, I think if you would have communicated differently that night, you probably would have gotten afraid. If I would have approached a different situation differently, that's number one. It's inbred in us to be back our shit without communication, to just bond first. It's in the music, it's in the way right. we're taught, right? I think that we just need to educate the people that we could be civil, we could be right. diplomatic about any type of problem. We could end up speaking about it because there's more power in that. And I feel that that it, it's, it leads with conversations like this because too many podcasts want to talk about bullshit. They want to highlight the negativity, and I feel like that's inbred in our cu culture so much yeah. that it's hard to shake. Like, everybody wants to talk, pull up their phone, like, did you see this person did this? You see this person right. got his ass whipped at this show? Like, it's always negative. It's never like, did you see this motherfucker just did something good for the community? Did you see this motherfucker just put out a dope-ass song? It's never about the music no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's always about some mamadas or some bullshit that people are doing on the side. And I come from an era where that, that didn't fly. Like, you had to make dope music. Like, whatever you were doing on the side was, like, some stupid shit you were doing. Yeah. The internet allowed it to be, like, a, a circus. Like, now it's just clown shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you know you know what? I agree with some of that. I agree with most of that. But yeah. sometimes sometimes you can't educate people that don't want to be That's educated, true. dog. That's true. Sometimes uh, homies are homies But there's are just, ears that are open that Homies just want to be bullies, dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They see something that they, they feel, they think, um, like, in my situation with that faith, Homie felt that I wasn't real enough for him. Oh, I see. See, so so it's like it's those type of that type of mentality because no matter what, he may say that to me, but there's always gonna be someone harder and realer than him. But let me ask you and, something. Uh, and up the chain. Let me and ask up you the chain something. And, up the and this chain. is a real real conversation. You know what I'm saying? Is that an ego thing uh, that we need to swallow? Because I know if I would have swallowed my ego that night, maybe I wouldn't have caught a fate. Yeah, but see, I feel like I had already swallowed my ego, but he still wanted to try okay, to punch so me. So your situation was different. Yeah, okay, it's just one you. of those things. One like of those this motherfucker people, was really trying to just, debo he you, just, huh? He just, the motherfucker just, yeah, he we didn't want to get give in. On. Like, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It, yeah, a lot, most of it is ego. Yeah, I feel yeah, it. yeah but there's it. some situations where it's just like the person just, he just doesn't like you. Yeah. And that's it, you know, like it don't matter what. So, and but education would help a lot. Uh, more situations so it won't happen as much yeah I feel like but you know sometimes uh, me I already swallow my ego yeah. I'm not I'm not one to uh if someone brings me a homie and and uh like a um like one of my artists from San Fernando he brings another homie from San Fernando I don't even uh the only thing I try to make sure is that he's he's solid mm -hmm. but I don't ever question how real he is I feel like at this point already if this fool got all the way from San Fernando to my studio in Riverside, that's a big effort. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? He already, that's already a big jump. So for me to to bring him down is is uh, is unimportant. I shouldn't do that. So I swallow my ego and uh, I give everyone the the benefit of the doubt when they're in my presence and I try to um, see what what the good qualities are in, especially in the studio. Yeah. Like, let me see you spit. Oh, then you can sing hooks. Oh, shit. You know how to mix find, and Find a talent in each yeah, person. Yeah, find, find something in each person that could, could uh, help out the table. Oh, uh, yeah. But there's always just some people that are that are always going to be not want to go with anything, not want to listen, not want to be educated. And uh, they feel like it's them should, that should be in your spot. Yeah. Or or at least in, in the motion where you're going with your stuff. Yeah. I say as leaders and humble yeah. men, we got to put that smile we got to put that face on but when it's time for action and if we got to do it yeah. there's certain motherfuckers that are ready to knock goliath down as david's when it's time you know what i'm saying and i think that those are the ones that last right. the 23 24 25 years as, as you've been lasting as i've been lasting because uh, so the people that stand on stand on the foundation of what they believe in gets respected other than people that switch it up like like motherfucking right. nothing, you know what I'm right. saying? Just for the internet or for because the cameras on. Like there's some yeah. people that don't give a fuck if a, ten cameras are on or hundred people, they're gonna go down the yeah, same yeah. way as if if the camera was off. And I don't think a lot of people are like that no more. You know, it's yeah. starting to show out there. Motherfuckers getting called out, yeah. uh, called turning down fades. Like there's a lot of things that have been out there in the world that is showing like damn. Like a lot of this shit's entertainment. And then when these people are in, on interviews, they say it's like, this shit's entertainment, bro. Yeah, like, you yeah. know, so it's not yeah. it's not that for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So well, you know, you grow, you just grow. I mean, I've grown. Like I said, I started off with, with um, you know, P and Cynic. And, you know, you grow. You know, I was from, you know, I wasn't rapping, so I was just kind of in the streets, you yeah. know. You know how it is. Some years you're, you're, you're going hard. And mm. then maybe some years you're taking it easy. Yeah. 
You know, there's some homies that go hard all the years. You know, it's just different situations. But you know, I was in the streets, and uh, then when I got into music, it's it's a, it was a whole different type of uh, vibe because you still have the little bit of streets. In yeah. You. So you're like trying to even it, it out. Yeah, it's like you're having a new job. Balance like you're, you're in a in a work environment, and then you're like you're from that envir- other environment, and you're like trying to like. Okay, you know, and, and stuff irritates you because you're from that environment, and then you kind of learn to swallow your yeah. ego. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I'm tripping here. Mm-hmm. That's out there. We're in the studio. This this isn't right, Opina. You know, you're telling yeah. your mind. Yeah. So you learn to grow as a man, and and um, as your family grows, you grow. You know, and, and you know, and stuff. You get married. You you start you start uh being a little different. You know, and uh, and salute to to the homies that are out there. Uh, super super active you know yeah. I, I i never talk down on them i know For what sure. it is i know i know what the business is and salute everybody that's grown everybody's you know? just at different points of their life, life different that, chapters yeah, they, you couldn't tell me the shit i'm talking right now when i was 15 i'd be like shut the fuck up that fool's that fool's yeah. tripping i would probably talk <laughs> yeah. shit that fool's soft you <laughs> For know sure. what I mean? yeah yeah but it's just different levels it's i'll different tell levels, that little yeah. homie he's lost you know what i'm saying i'll yeah. tell that little homie he's he's got his plans fucked up he's fucking his life up so we all got different opinions and we, they're all valid you know what i'm saying like yeah. the little homie might be looking at an older criminal like this fool rapped about this shit when he's youngster now he's pushing this positivity what the fuck's up with that and yeah, i'm looking yeah. at the little homie like homie get some paper get get yourself out of trouble put yeah. put your put money in your in your family's cabinets like put put food on the table yeah, some, some, some uh, you know positivity is good you know some like i said though there's some people that it's you not can't you yeah. can't yeah for like, sure like you know like the swifty blues mm-hmm. you can't you can't push nothing on someone that don't want to that don't i'm just being real you yeah. know i'm not trying to speak his name because i try to give him clout but it's just real shit like he you know you can't push someone on some on somebody that doesn't want to uh learn they just yeah. want to do what they want to do yeah and is that is that, that why why you had that song that, that went at them yeah <laughs> i feel like i feel like that song that i put out i think it was time i've always been humble i don't think you can name one time where i ever where i ever dropped a song like that yeah in my career or even went on instagram and was like being crazy you know yeah. and um, i don't even think this is that crazy i just think that um it was it, uh, being an older uh older homie in the game you know it was time for me to throw some jabs you know and i never have done it and i wanted to display my bar work so i did it and i like the song the song thumps you yeah, know? why did you feel like he was uh the person to aim at uh because i feel like the the shit that's going on with that you know he's like it's like a six nine but on the west coast dog damn and that's just being real i mean you know what i'm saying i i feel like that's the route that is going and it's like you know you're not gonna uh and it's not just even for me. I, I'm not even speaking uh, at a turn thing. It's just like a lot of other homies, even more and more, you know, up the chain. They they built this shit, dog, you know, and to be, that just like brings us down. You know what I'm saying? You check in, like, you know, like, nobody's checking in with you, bro. Are you checking in with them? Be real with me. I'm checking with nobody, my boy. That's what I'm saying. I mean, so it's <laughs> straight the <laughs> fuck up, homie. I'm from West Side out of Silver Lake. That's homie, we don't check it with the motherfucking. Nobody. That's what I'm saying. The only, the only people that get checked in, they know, and, and it ain't a checking. It's a respect. Right, you know right, right. Yeah, we don't yeah, call right. it that. That's so something. It's like, it's that's like, a term that was made up down south. Yeah. So the comment was he put a comment on a, a video on mm-hmm. somebody else's page, on Lucky's page, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, I made this uh, this check-in uh, policy because for artists that." <laughs> artists that come in from other states that are big he's like you're not big enough sir for anyone to check in with and you're not big enough for me to for you to check in with me and i'm like bro i'm not in a popularity contest yeah you know i've never i've done shows all over america bro Mm -hmm. and not one time did i ever think about you know going going landing in new york and saying hey you know what i better see what brooklyn's doing just just so i could be safe yeah i'm too busy getting the rental and checking into a luxury suite for sure Keeping it, keeping it one thousand mm-hmm. to pick up the phone. Now, um, someone told me too one time. Every time you do a show at a state, a promoter usually books you. Mm-hmm. And use ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time, that promoter is from that state or neighborhood. Mm-hmm. That's so spot. you're already checking in. That's their backyard. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They wouldn't give you a bag if the venue was gonna be hella unsafe, dog. Mm-hmm. Think about it. They, they're trying to make money. For so, sure. hey, we're going to bring criminal to New York. Okay, let's put them in Harlem. They're not going to do that. They're going to pick a venue that's they know where they can make money. So you're that promoter already kind of, 
you know, I don't want to say validates you, but kind of sets you up where you're good. For you sure. know what I'm saying? And to do all that other extra stuff is like, you know, and it started like a little trend, and, um, you know, and I, I'm not a fan of it. Me neither. So and I, that's, I'm just keeping it real. I, I got to speak agree. my mind. But he's not the only one, and I would say that if it was if it was for the attention, I think a lot of people know that that's what it's created for. It's obviously working because people are talking about him on different platforms. His name keeps coming up. So yeah. if you really think about it, it was a genius move if if that was his ambition. If the if his goal was let's get everybody to talk about me, let me let me stir stir the pot as much as I can and yeah. have all these podcasts of people talking, it works. So shit, it, you you got to look at both ends of this thing. Not saying that I agree with it at all because I don't. But sometimes I look back and I just think like, damn, this fool might just be winning. He might be winning yeah, what he you wants. Know what the problem you know what is? I mean? That's cool and all gravy, but I don't even look at it like that. I look at the young homies that are watching it. Yeah. You know, that's that's my concern. Yeah. Because I got a lot of nephews. Being misled and shit. Yeah. You know, and that's that's the thing. Mm -hmm. You know, and if one of my nephews says something like that, I'll you know I'll put him in check. Yeah. You know, they start talking like that, checking in, all this bullshit. I'll put them in check. I, you can say I'm old. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know, that's just the way I'm going to be. Yeah, you know, I, I think I think that it was just for attention. And I you think could, that... You could be right. I think that uh, it's working and this is what he wants. Just to be real with you, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's probably just watching right now like, hell yeah, I got these motherfuckers talking yeah. about me right now. You that's know what all right. Saying? It's all good. But it, it's all good. But at he the came end of the at day. me with a friendly comment. Yeah. I'm going to keep it real. It was, it was friendly. Yeah. 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 Super friendly. What did he say? That's what he said. He said, I, I made this... Uh, Check little checking game, just be for for popular artists. Oh, is that right? You're not popular enough. Damn. That's what he told me. I was like, okay. That's crazy, Holmes. Well, at the end of the day, you you got you got your voice. He has his voice, and everybody has a. There's enough money in the game for everybody. You know what I'm saying? They say that there's a market for everybody. There's a market for motherfuckers that uh do some weird shit out there. Yeah. So, there's, there's a market for everybody, bro. That's the best thing I could say. But just stick true to what you do. Stick to what you do. And I think that in the end, that 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 works out. But music is a friendly competition. And I yeah, think sure that, is, that yeah. once in a while, that is is a good thing to have. You know what I mean? To, to, yeah. to have motherfuckers spit bars at each other. You can't be you, nice your whole career. Nah. But, but, you but, know what I'm saying? You but know that. As long as it doesn't take away from, from, from the ultimate goal, which is pushing the... Pushing your pushing your line for your family because nobody leaves the music game, leaves the street life, yeah. beats everything that we go through to go fuck it off for some music. You know what I'm saying? Like that right, shit right, don't right, even right. make sense. I feel I feel like we be idiots for that. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I know I would. Like I'm a, if I'm gonna fuck mine off, it's because someone's trying to fuck with my family or, or or the basic fundamentals of life, which any man wouldn't accept. Yeah. Not for I don't ever want to be in somewhere fucking my life off for some rap shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that just right, doesn't right, right, doesn't yeah. compute right here. You know That's what, what I say in music. You know. Uh, you know, when you're when you're when you're displaying bars and you're and you're beefing and shit, you know, it's it's uh it's competition, you know, and uh, a lot of the greats did it. I mean, Fifty Should Cent. Yeah. I mean, how many him and Eminem? How many songs they had? Yeah. Of course, Joe, Fat mm -hmm. Joe, and they people were going at it back. Since then. the beginning of hip hop, yeah. Wu Tang Clan. I mean, uh, remember Corrupt went at Wu Tang, DMX, DMX, everybody. So, Call and, those, those, and at the end of the day, they all became cool. It's always it's always like that, and when motherfuckers yeah. see each other in person, it's usually respect and love because it's a universal love. Is music, so I want to ask you something else. <coughs> yes, sir. Moving moving past that, going into another direction, what is your opinion on artists saying the n words in their raps? What what do you feel about that? Um, I feel like I feel like um, it's a it's a it's a new day. Um, I don't say to my raps. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I played a lot of blacktop basketball. And I mean a lot growing mm -hmm. up. Different different parks. Uh Venice Beach, um, Tierra Santa, San Diego, um, uh, uh Ryan Bar I think it's Bonamino right here in Riverside. Damn, you ain't fucking around. No, no, no. I play. I play okay. like I play good. Like if you play me, it's gonna be hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I play yeah. I play for keeps in basketball. I love it. So um growing up playing ball, I played with a lot of blacks. And um they use that word a lot. And a lot of a lot of times during uh, when I played, um, I picked up on it. But for me, when I would say it when I was younger, it was because I was the only Mexican on them courts, so I was considered a brother to them. Mm -hmm. When I would say it, it was fine. But it was something I picked up on, and not knowing that, you know, what I'm saying as I got older, I, you know, my pops would be like, "I understand what you're what you're because you." Played there, but see, I would hang with the homies too. Though after mm -hmm. I was done, I hang with the homies, 
and the homies didn't. They were like, hey, that's that's where you're at too. Yeah. You're here and you're there. Mm -hmm. So if you come from that environment, a certain environment, I think um, I think it's part of their life more than them trying to fit in. Got it. Now, if you're trying to fit in because that's what's being said and mm -hmm. it's getting these streams, then I think it's a big no. But I think like uh, like the homies from South Central, mm -hmm. you know, they they're right there. It's like a uh, that's, that's always their neighbor, the neighbor yeah. here, and the neighbor mm -hmm. here. It's so close, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, growing up in Riverside, it's not like that, nah, at all. So different uh, places are 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 different. You kind of adapt to where you're uh, where you're at, and uh, and a lot of the kids now they kind of use it in an open slang because that's what's in. And I don't, I don't think that's cool. I'm not gonna tell them nothing, you know. But I, I don't think it's cool. And if you're doing it in music, I don't think it's cool. Yeah. You know, like I said, if you, if you, if you're there and that's where you're at, and you're around it 24/7, you know what I'm saying? Every, every 365 days a week, it's kind of hard. Yeah. The homies in East LA is a little different. I agree. You know, it's just different sections. Different sections for different sure. Different sections are, are more. Um, like I said, and even different, uh, um, different lifestyle. Like I said, I play blacktop ball, mm -hmm. so I was around the, the blacktop for eight hours a day, just mm -hmm. soaking it up. Yeah, that's all I heard. I think it has to do with the environment. I think it Your has to do with the people yeah. who come up. Because even me, I was around, never really around none, none of the spots I grew up in, uh, lived in my neighborhood. Nothing ever was any really blacks until yeah. I lived in Indian Hills in Riverside, and then I knew a dude that I went to middle school with, my homie Nathan Charlton, that he ended up being from Project Crips. So next thing you know, he's opening his garage, they're shooting craps, there's like 20 crips in that motherfucker. And I'm like, damn, I ain't never been nowhere like this. But at that moment yeah. in my life, I'm already 13, 14, where I'm walking with pride. I'm already around the homies from my hood. I know how to rep, you know what I'm saying? So I'm yeah. around them with, with, with a different energy. It wasn't basketball, it wasn't nothing that, that, there wasn't like a common thing like that. It was like, they were already gang related, I was already gang related, so it was like, we already kind of had our like, what's up, homie, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they were just like, oh, that's the that's the essay, homie, you know what I mean? So that <laughs> that that was already like established, but I think it's it's environment, bro. Maybe yeah. if I was playing basketball with them and I grew yeah. up with them a little younger, it might have been a different story. You it know was man? crazy, because when I used to play, man, I was like, shoot, I was like 11, 12, and i get buckets, and I because I was good. Yeah. See, it was different, so I was Mexican, I was really good. So these guys were like 19, 21, 22, all blacks. And when I would score a bucket, they'd be like, that's my. Yeah, you know, I see, I'd be I see, like, I see. And they kept saying it every time I got a bucket. So it's yeah. just they're yelling at me. And then they're just like, hey, they're like, you, you can use it. That's dope. You've been grinding with us for so years. With me, they will be like, that's that's my that's the essay homie. Yeah. Like, always, what's <laughs> yeah, up, yeah. criminal? That's the essay yeah, homie. This, this motherfucker don't play. Like, I remember that shit. A yeah, lot of so. love. Shout out to the homies called uh, Capone from from PJCs. The homie, Mister Nobody, Alvin, Quincy, all the homies. Hell man, yeah. that's what's up. But yeah, Absolute. fucking, uh, it's crazy to see just all the love that 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 music could could open doors for people. Yeah, the door like the conversations we're having right now. I think that is dope that it could open organic situations and organic relationships. You know yeah. what I'm saying? What are some of the some of the doors that music's open for you that you've been like surprised when you walk through the doors? Like, damn, I did this through music. Yeah. Well, you know, just just um, I feel like uh, just just from people like uh, knowing the name, you know, yeah. coming from a small uh, little country town. Yeah. You know, the 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 odds of that are like one in a billion. You know, even like, uh, um, so like uh, a lot of youngsters from Imperial Valley. Yeah. This is a door that music has opened. They want to be like us. Yeah. They want to be like me. Like, how'd you come out to, how'd you get out there? Yeah. How'd you do a song with King G? Yeah. You know, how'd you get on the podcast? And coming from that little town, man, they just, they all want to, um, but when I was growing up, there wasn't a lot of ambition like that. Mm -hmm. And now when they see, uh, People come out of those places, like myself. Gives it, them hope. It has, we, I have opened the door for them. It gives them hope. Yeah, get a lot. I a mean, lot there's like, hope. dude, in Nyland, where I'm from, there's 800 people. I was the first one to, to start doing music from there. Now there's like three other rappers. Is that right? Yeah. That and means that you're love, doing yeah. something right. You're leading you the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, another thing, uh, too, on a different subject, uh, there's a homie from, uh, I want to give, give him a shout out, because he came from that little town, too. And I know he manages like little weirdo. His name's Fat Guapo. Yeah, yeah, I know Fat Guapo. So he he was 
but he grew up in Ireland a little bit. Where that's I'm right. from, he was just all right here waving a few minutes oh, yeah, ago yeah, on the live. Yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. And that's I want to give him his because yeah, yeah. S- yeah. Salute, Guapo. I know you watch him, boy. I'm gonna hit you for a barbecue soon. But he moved to Indio, and uh, that's where he's from and grew up. But it's that's what I'm saying. We come from those little towns, and people wouldn't even know or understand how difficult that is to yeah. get out and make it. Yeah, and this trip, and, and, and music gets motherfuckers moving around, because I met Guapo in South Central. Yeah, at yeah. a hood-ass, hood-ass yeah, yeah. fucking studio on East Coast Crips hood. Yeah, if you and knew, I met the, that if you knew right the town that if you knew the town that we lived in, yeah, you'd be like, "What the fuck?" Dog? But I knew when I met him because <laughs> they said he was from the Valle, and they yeah, were yeah. said, "I was like, damn, this fool's all the way out here grinding with his music." Yeah, and I looked at him like a little respectable because we were having meetings with the cats from Atlantic. And yeah, I was yeah. like, damn, oh, yeah. we ended up in some hood ass yeah, ghetto ass spot. And he East Coast. I actually got banged on by some little fools right there while I was parking my car and shit. I was like, this is some active shit right here. You know yeah. what I mean? So uh yeah, it's just crazy to see motherfuckers moving yeah. and grooving like so that. To yeah. everybody out there grinding, man. Hell yeah. So um, you know, in that aspect of just just other things too, you know. Um I've gotten uh offers like in my DM to do like uh uh, what is it called to uh, do movies and stuff like that? I just never took the, you know, the opportunity to do it. But maybe, you yeah. know, um, I think music has opened the doors there. And um, just even in um, in coaching, yeah. you know, a, a lot of people see uh, players and they're like, oh, I want to be on your team. Should I see your Instagram? I see you moving. That's sick as fuck. Yeah. So you know, music has done a lot of those <clears> things. You know, and uh, pretty soon I, I'm a I'm gonna look into that stuff. I wouldn't mind doing some. Uh, some like acting or trying out some shit like that, you know? Oh yeah. You know what I'm diversifying. I'm, I'm proud of the fact that we had a conversation behind the scenes and there was no animosity. Usually when I chop chop it up with people about their issues behind the scenes, they yeah. get a little rowdy and puff puff and nah yeah. fuck that, fuck that. And that's when I knew that you were a humble dude and, and someone that I could actually chop it up with. And that was the moment when I made the decision to bring really bring you on because I had told you off to off camera just me reposting that you were going to be on my show offended some people. Yeah. And one of them was a little Guete. He hit me up like, hey, yeah. what's up with that fool? You're my boy. This is like a slap in the face. You got yeah, that yeah. fool on your show. And being me, I, I take on the role as being a leader in this game. I take on the role as being a diplomat, someone that could speak to, to two parties. And like I told you uh, on the phone, if I could build a bridge that yeah. both your homies could meet in the middle and use my back to step on that motherfucker and <laughs> shake in the middle, I'm down to do it. Because that's that's somebody that I res- that I got love for that I've been in this game for 23 years that's been around me since I was young, and I feel like your heart's in the right place, right? So I feel like it would be a, a miss. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't try to correct that and say, you know what, whatever that is 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 in the yeah. past. Because I know he was offended. I have you on the show, and that's my boy. And regardless, I don't do anything off of. How could I say it? No disrespect to anybody, but I do things because of me. I do things because of my family, my agenda. Yeah. Some people don't always respect. see my vote, my, my goal. And we bump heads about, about me doing some shit with King Little G. He didn't feel that either. But yeah. I still push forward with my vision no matter what a man sees or, or says, right? Because I know my goal is, is pure and, and my, my, my intentions are right, right? Yeah. And I'm not out here to fuck nobody else up. If, if whatever I'm doing is going to take money out of another man's mouth, then talk to me about it, right? Feel it. So, so what I'm trying to do right now is, is create a peace between you guys because yeah, I, nah, think that, you know, I think I, that I'm that a, should I'm be if you guys it. see each other, be like, you know what, that's some bullshit. Yeah, man. it was some bullshit. You know, uh, <clears throat> you know, someone posted a, a meme, and uh, me being who I am, I like to fuck around, so I reposted it. Yeah. And I didn't feel like it was harmful. Yeah. You know, and then uh, he blocked me, so that was I pretty see. much the end of it. Uh, we didn't really communicate like that. I just posted a. Oh, me, it's been like four years, so it's to me, to, to, yeah, to me, I feel like that's, it's dead over issue. with. That's dead already the four years, that's a dead issue. I yeah. mean, nobody, we didn't go to each other's door, No, nobody was, uh, we weren't speaking uh, bullshit in DMs, like, yeah. he didn't get at me in the DM, like, yeah. there was nothing spoken, so it was, there was really no beef. You understand exactly. what I'm saying? I think, I think at the time, um, he might have been going through something, or whatever the people's situation he was going through, and uh, maybe me posting the meme, he felt that, you know. I was getting in the middle of it, but you know, I was just being an asshole. Yeah. It was just being me. I always do that. I go lie, dog. Yeah. Look, look, you I'm going to tell you right. Real. You keep it yeah, real. Yeah, I'm going to keep it real. Look, let me tell you guys. If criminal, right now, if you go outside and a snake bites you, 
in the ass and you make a, and you make a weird face, I'm reposting it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I, and I'm gonna tag you and I'm gonna be like, criminal, what's up with this? What's up with this shit, my dog? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like fix it. Like fucking yeah, around. Like, fix fix it. Fix your face or something. Got- <laughs> I'm just a dick, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like I'm like the 50 cent of Mexican music. I'm, 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 I'm gonna talk my shit. And if you catch me slipping, I look funny and my face is all sagging. You got to repost it so I can something. correct it. Yeah, because it. if you don't repost it, I'm going to think I look So it cool. wasn't that serious to you, basically? No, nah, well, to him it might have been, yeah. but to me, I but was... But to you, you weren't... You it never, was funny, dog. You if never you thought saw, it was a Did beef. you see the meme? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I didn't. Okay, I don't try to it. stir it up again, nah, but it was funny, dog. I, just the fact that It was funny, dog. Nah, you know what? There's a lot the of homie, I, The homie that did it, I knew. So to me, I was like, he should hit him up, not me. Okay, so I just... I didn't know it was over a meme. I thought it was over a diss track or something. No, know? I never oh, dissed okay, him. Okay. Yeah, no, that was, it was over a meme. It was like it was like that one that fucking uh, where uh, Cap- was it Python riding Capone. <laughs> Remember that meme? Dog, I'm dead. What are you doing right now, Peanut? <laughs> no, you really that's going there, funny. No, 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 blown. No, 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 it was a good meme. It was I, 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 okay. So there's a meme about that. About yeah, pi- they, they made a meme, and it's like they're, he's riding them on the handlebars. It just looks funny, though. I'm sorry, though. So what does the meme say? I forget, dog, but it's it's like a, it's a funny one. I bet Python was happy as a motherfucker. He went viral. He got a shine on it. Yeah, that's what I I'm reposted saying. that one. Nah, I'm not going to lie. When I saw that video, I don't remember who sent it to me, but I saw Python riding Capone on the handlebars. This is a little weird. So you did see it? Yeah, not not that. I saw the video. The oh. actual video where he's like riding. Okay, Capone's so they made, a, they made a meme. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, so I was like, come on, I'm going to repost it. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I just, I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you catch me with, a, with my face sagging or something, repost it. I'm going to laugh, and I'm going to repost hey, it back. Hey, shout out to Capone, man. I was talking to that fool today. He has some crazy-ass ideas. You know? <laughs> yeah, that boy, that boy, <laughs> got, that boy got a <laughs> hustle. Got yeah. his hustle. No, nah, he's definitely got his hustle. He just got some ideas. And sometimes you might think they're way out, and then this fool gets them going. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, he actually pulled that shit off. It just trips me out. But yeah, no, nah, he does his thing. It was what we've been doing for years, man, uh, making making the impossible happen. You know what I'm saying? They doubted us, and it's a trip to see. Like how you said that there were, there's three more rappers that came after your city. Like, like yeah. I know we weren't the first, homie, but, but before us, it was like Kid Frost, the fucking Little Ross. We were the first, like, Chicano rap, gangster rap that came out. We were, like, banging hard yeah. and rapping. After we came out, it was like 100 high powers. It was like 100 Mr. Criminal wannabes. It was like 100 Mr. Capone wannabes. So trust me, I know I come from that era. I remember that <laughs> shit. Yeah. It's a trip to see, but that means that you're doing something right, and that that if I you're leading the way, it's something right. You know. What I saying? remember back in the day, man. Um, you know, because I wasn't rapping. I mean, you you've been uh, you've been in the game a long time. Twenty three years, got on. It's a long time. Yes, sir. I've been in the game like eight years. Yeah. Even though I think we're like the same age. Right? Yeah, yeah. So so look. I used to bump everybody. I, I used to I used to bump slow pain. Okay, slow pain was hard as fuck. Yeah, he was tight. He was and hard. He had he got sick. I could quote his shit right yeah. now. Yeah, remember he, he got sick. He yeah. had like a liver liver problem. Hepatitis, good no. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, he was tight. Um, remember the G fellas? G fellas were hard. Yeah, they were with they they had that. Uh, I don't know. It's almost like a. That was Alt Nino Brown and Slow Pain. Yeah. Yeah, it, I don't know what how their sound was like gangster, but like Texas, I don't yeah. know, like mixed. Yeah, it was it was a little more trappy before trap came out. Yeah, for sure, a little yeah. slower. And then you had a uh, Frank V. Yeah, Frank V. For sure. Um, he was dope. And then uh, you but had. But you see all these cats, and I mean no disrespect to them because I was part of the game. They never had a whole generation of people trying to be like them. Of they course. were just rappers. Like they right. just did their thing. When we came out, we had like it was a wave. It was oh, like yeah, we changed yeah. the whole country. Motherfuckers were trying to be like us, dress like us. It was like it was just like pandemonium everywhere we went. Yeah. And I used to see them cats, and no disrespect to them, but they never used to move like that. Like we used to move and shut down the whole lowrider show. Like we couldn't even put a booth anywhere yeah. on the show. Cause if it was like ten booths <laughs> this way, fifteen booths this way, they shut down within an hour because our fans were just fucking flooding. Yeah, the whole it's shit. just like because you, you guys were the new, the new version. And we never seen that. Yeah, you we guys came out that. in the two thousands. They were in the yeah. early nineties, slow pain, probably like ninety. Yeah, but not not good fellas and all the rest of the. No, they came out later. Yeah, slow pain came out ninety six. Ninety six. Thump yeah, Records. Yeah. I remember the baby OG. The you're baby talking OG. to a student of the game that I don't yeah. think you're gonna meet many motherfuckers that know the yeah. game like me. It's like nineties though. I remember. It was nineteen ninety six, the baby OG. Where you guys were popping hard in like oh three, oh two, oh four. Yeah, that's yeah. when we started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when we sold our first million records in two thousand five. And we sold our first multi million records in two thousand ten. So we were doing it for many years. And we kept it going through the digital age, all that shit. So yeah, that's it's a beautiful true. thing, big dog. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. The CD days too. I still print up CDs. Yeah, I still print them. I I'm still... about to have them for Gagami. 
Are you? Yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah. be a limited edition. I might have like five only. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand a copy. I'm going to print them motherfuckers right now with the homie Critical <laughs> when we leave right now. But yeah, now nah, it's, dope. it's dope to Big see the, the students of both of our hustles and both of our grinds because there's someone that follows everybody. And there's a dude that's yeah. going to follow you. There's a dude that's going to follow King Lil G. There's going to be a dude that Different follows ones, Swifty yeah. Blue. Yeah, and no course. matter what, everybody has different flavors and everybody has uh, something to offer the game, whether it's good, bad, whatever. And... Uh, it's all, it's all, it's all pushing. I think at the end of the day, the narrative of our Latin yeah. rap culture. But I, I think it's important for 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 leaders to step up and do it the right way, and that's where I'm at with it. Hell that's yeah! A couple bottles. Hold up. Now nah, you're good. You got some bottles, huh? Yeah, this one's a rosé, but it's. Uh, I like the meaning of it. It's yeah. What does it say? Snoops on the front. It says oh, 19 Snoops. crimes, but read the back. Oh shit! Let me see. Kind Let's of see. a. It's kind of what. Uh, describes what we do. All right, 19 Crimes tells us the true story of a rule breakers who beat the code. Here, I can barely see this motherfucker. That's right. Tells the true story of rule breakers who beat the code, overcame adversity, and went on to become folk heroes in their society. This spirit lives, lives on today through innovators and culture creators like Cali's own Snoop Dogg, a leader in contem contemporary pop culture. Snoop embodies the timeless values of the 19 Crimes rogues who came before him glasses up california rose wine hell yeah yeah and then here's another rose tilt this motherfucker up this one's a little bit hell yeah up, rose. Pop that one. hey homie we appreciate it that's love yes, pina came through with the rose he asked me last night what we drinking i'm pulling up with the <laughs> bottles i rose. said i said we fuck around with the rose i didn't even know what that was i was spelling it wrong i was googling it like okay r-o-z-a-y oh that's how rick ross does it <laughs> yeah so i was yeah. like looking they didn't have that there all i saw was that one yeah so i went up to the front I'm like y'all don't got no rose bottles Models, Hell yeah. like, yeah, we do. Hell yeah, that's what's spell up. with an E. I'm like, no, that says rose. They're like, no, that's rose. <laughs> nah, like, that's oh. that little, that's that little E that they put the little line like the Enya, you know, yeah, they like, put yeah. that little shit right there. So, yeah, I've see. never, I've never had a um champagne, never had champagne. No, nope. pop it, this motherfucker, pop right it now. over. That's the first hey, you guys one. got some cups? Let's so, get some cups. We're gonna pop this motherfucker right now. Peanut brought this glass. Shit. Right We're gonna celebrate, we're never. gonna celebrate. I drink a lot of Hennessy. We're gonna celebrate the homie coming through. We're gonna celebrate. The podcast being a success, we're gonna oh, you celebrate want, you want everything, brother. Yeah, you see, yeah. We're gonna celebrate Critical life. Got a new watch. I seen that. Shit. I was jealous. <laughs> I was like, "Where's I'm my try to, watch at?" <laughs> I'm shooting Jake from the rib. Hey, this is coming out right now. I'm trying to bust Jake from the rib in the face real quick. <laughs> Look at this shit real quick. Let's hey, see if I got good. Cool. You got this shit right here? Nah, I'm. That's the hold on, hold on, hold on. I just, I just fucked straight on his Tell face. Tell me right that there. photo doesn't look like Jay from the Rip. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss Jay from the Rip. Gotcha. Fuck. Hey, that means that we still got love for you, Jay. Hell Don't yeah. trip. Nah, I was just talking to uh, Big Temps. He said Jay from the Rip put him on a show this week. So, shout out to Jay from the hey, Rip. Hey, salute Big Temps for inviting me to that uh, the Ramona High School thing. That shit was tight. Yeah, he said you pulled up and showed support, up. Big Don. That was tight. Have a sip of this motherfucker. It's Tell me if you like it. It's so. cool, dog. It's nice and smooth. It's something that it's nice to smoke a blunt with. You okay. know. We, we pouring up with the Opina right now. Champagne, rosé on the motherfucking show. He's going to pound it like it's water, though. That's <laughs> supposed to, huh? Nah, he just sipped that motherfucker. Oh, no, shit, my bad. Sip that, that shit motherfucker. Pretty good. You, want, you want some, baby girl? I'm going to give some to my baby girl for all our hard work. We've been killing it. We've been grinding. Let's give Critical a sip. You have to have a sip, dog. You don't have to have a whole shit. Okay. All right, got my cup. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Hell yeah. Shout out to... to, to no more beef between Little Cueta and Opina. I think that that's uh, important, that that's, that's been highlighted. Lighted. If it wasn't an official beef, at least we squash an unofficial beef. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm number just, nine <laughs> on the show, so we'll pop a bottle yeah, of that. I'm that's just, the yeah, homie. I'm just keeping it real. I mean, you yeah. know, it wasn't nothing. That's, that's the brother, though. Yeah. I have to make sure. Like, I, I would be fake having you on the show and not chopping it up with you about it, or okay. even, even chopping it up with you behind the scenes. I was like, I got to chop it up with him. If it bothered the homie that much, I know that he would... He would uh, address a situation if yeah, he was in front of somebody. Yeah. Plus, I know I got love for you, and I know that we were gonna work it out. So, it's all good. Cheers, yeah, cheers, cheers to everyone. everybody. Cheers to cheers. the to, to yes, the whole sir. crew. Cheers. Pina, appreciate you being here. God bless everybody. That's how we do it. Man, so, I what do we got next coming from you, my boy? What do we got on the on the schedule? You know, I'm gonna drop a I'm gonna drop a trap a trap banger. Hell yeah! Uh, some of the neighborhood could vibe to real thumpy. Yeah, and then I'll do a video probably in the next couple of weeks. Hell follow yeah. up this last video and then i'm working on the album um i got two albums one's uh a street one and one's uh like boom bap like hip-hop because i really like the hip-hop sound yeah i'm into that i, I feel know like i noticed i could hear that in your music yeah that's mostly my strength so yeah 
uh, you know, we're trying to play with the beats and um, make it a little bit more uh, to more open ears and not kind of yeah. in, in, in a one situation thing. So uh, it's, in, it's in the process and I don't know which album I'll drop first. We're going to play it by ear. Hey, who is a skinny motherfucker from Compton, though? Oh, <laughs> you said man. that in the beginning. I'm like, oh. well, who is he talking about? You don't have to mention no, it. No, uh, well, you know, uh, man, he lied, bro. He lied to a lot of people about me. I don't like that, you know? Yeah. We bought him diapers Damn. for his baby at a video shoot. And then he tried to tell everybody that I paid him to be in a cameo. And I'm like, I didn't pay none of the homies, like. The homie Throbby G pulled up. Like I didn't pay him. He came on the string. Show yeah. love, you know? And then he he and then in the messages, he's like, he's like, I told everybody you paid me. Like it was a publicity stunt. I'm like, nah, bro, like, don't do that to me, mm -hmm. you know? And that's then, some uh, weird shit. Yeah, so I just then I started going in on him. I was like, well, oh, we bought well, I did give you money, but it was for diapers. Is it known cat? Is somebody known? Oh, man. No, not really. Not really. Nah, he's we'll a, he's we'll leave it there. You know, we gotta leave, leave it there. Yeah, fuck it. it so is we just, is. you know, I just dropped the song. I uh, when I was doing the lyrics, I had a little bit of a different song written, but see, I have another one. Like yeah. I have, a, I have a crazy like uh, hit 'em up Tupac track, but oh, that shit. never come out. You just gonna keep that in the vault. Not that deep, you know. That's but good. It was That's at good. a time where it was actually made like four years ago, so I was at a time where I was like <sighs> trying to go in, and I was like, man. And then when I heard it, I was like, you know what, man. It's ain't, it ain't the 90s. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's different now. I'm know? glad you realized that, Big Don. You know what I'm saying? For I mean, sure. You know, maybe if I would have came out then, I might have released it. But it was to the that track, too. Yeah. To the Hit em Up uh, beat. Oh, shit. You were going in. Oh, it went hard. Damn. It goes hard, yeah. yeah. That's so, probably a good one. I did it at Joe's, up. Little Green. Salute Little Green. Hey, Little Green. That's yeah. uh, TJ Knight's... Uh, Lighter shade of brown. He's the one in the video playing the guitar right there. Oh, like yeah, nice. you're right. That's yeah, motherfucking little, little Green right little there, green. man. Salute Little Green. Yeah, yeah, Salute Little Green. Joe Alfaro. He, he used to master all my albums before I got this mad scientist next to me right here. Fucking yeah. the hood TMZ. <laughs> you hear that, Joe? I'm switching over. Yeah. Oh, Ain't no loyalty in this game. <laughs> <laughs> cheers to cheers to. He's on. Shout out. Hey, Joe's on there because he texts me he's watching. So, Joe. Is that right? Yep. Shout Critical. out, Joe. Hey, Joe's a man, man. Joe got some clean mixing and mastering. Hey, I'll tell you what, yeah. that fool's that fool is very professional. He knows his shit, and he'll be like, "What?" Yeah, he always says that shit. You know what I'm talking about? I don't yeah. know, man. Lately, he's been falling asleep. Yeah, yeah, he's getting old. Give him a bang. Still love him though. Give him a bang. He used to fall asleep on us back in the days. You know he doesn't <laughs> like our shit. You see his studios all fucking full of Kiss and Rock. He doesn't want to hear our Chicano rap shit. That's nah, he, fuck, he fucks with us though. He's, He's a G though. He 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 held it down for our, our label. He was a uh, one of the the main producers of High Power back in the days and helped crank out many albums, many albums. I mean, yeah. that dude was just fucking carrying workloads on his back. After after I stopped doing so much and started focusing back on my music and, and doing my own shit because I was producing so much for the label, we put, we tossed that shit to him and he happily did that shit. He was up every night doing, doing that it. shit, grinding. Yeah. Motherfucker's a grinder, man. So shout out to Joe, shout Little to Green. Joe. He's our neighbor. He's not too far away, man. So yeah, he's right down the yeah, street. Yeah, right, right down the street, man. Man, shout out to to the underrated rappers too. Man. Who, who who would you say is underrated right now in the game? Man, I'm gonna tell Let's you right talk now. About it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm talk about it. I'm gonna throw out some names. I think um I think I'm one. Okay, I I'll think, definitely think, say that. That's yeah, why you're I on think, the motherfucking show. Yeah, I think I, I think I am. I think I'm uh, slept on, you know. But uh, I gotta work on uh getting out there more. That's yeah. what it tells me. I gotta work on doing more shows. I think um, uh, some of the rappers from the 805. Yeah. I think Oxnard Pugs. Okay. Uh, my Shout dog out Oxnard, Oxnard Pugs. I think Big E Rock is being consistent right now. Yeah. You know he's doing his consistent uh, consistent shit. I like the little homie. Huh? Yeah. I like uh, the little uh, homie. Big Big E Rock. He's uh, very consistent. Hell yeah. Um, let's see who else. I want to say. Um, I think Trippy G is. Triple G. He's consistent. I heard his name before. I'm not sure I've actually yeah, heard his he's, music. I think he's signed with G, or he's he's with them for sure. Okay. He's a really good friend of mine. I don't know if he's officially signed there, but he's uh you got to you got to get him on here. Yeah. I feel like he's honestly he's super underrated. Yeah. Tri Trippy G. Yeah. He's got good bars. Uh, you know, good beats. He puts it on. His beat selection is good. Yeah. And uh, the music is good. You know, so yeah. What do you think about Chito Rana getting out and everything he was doing? I think uh, I think he got his numbers, um, but I think he cries too much. Damn. Yeah. 
like <laughs> like that, huh? No, nah, I'm just more. being real. I'm just not keeping it real, huh? Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, we all got a sad story. You got one, I got one. I hear that a lot you in know. the comments. Yeah, you know, and and you know what you signed up for, dog. I know a lot of people said that too. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's just it's the old saying, but those sayings they ain't never gonna change. Mm -hmm. I mean, I saw the little uh, clip of that, and it's like. It's like my story, too. I mean, when I was in jail, everybody turned their back on me. It's everybody. <laughs> when you're in jail, everybody try to get at your lady. Yeah. I mean, when you're in jail, you don't, you're you losing people. And when you're not in jail, you lose people. We don't lost a lot of people. Same. I don't lost a lot of people out here in Riverside, dog. I'm not even from out here. But mm -hmm. I'm saying, like, I your started homies. doing music out here. So yeah. I, I got homies that, you know, uh, caught time. Salute Casablanca, too. A lot of my homies are from right there, you know? Yes, sir. So, you know, a lot of people, homies caught time, life. So, you know, you lose, we all lose, but um, you don't gotta say that your story's better, or, you know, than anybody else's. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, if it, people say, or, or he was saying some stuff like that, like, oh, you know, nobody's been in my shoes. Like, dog, it's hard. Everybody's shoes are hard to fill. It's hard to walk around with two machines in your heart. I know, I'm yeah. in these shoes. Plus, when I went to jail, everybody turned sense. their back on me. Plus, I lost home. Like, you know, add on everything, and, and everybody has had that life. So, you know, I don't ever, that, and that's what I say. I swallow my pride now when I see young homies come in because I have no idea what that young homie is going through. Yeah, it makes sense. And if he's in my studio, it's like God brought him to me, so I don't ever want to break him down no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, I swallowed it a long time ago, bro, because... Um, the stuff that I've been going through, dog, you know, uh, health-wise. Yeah. You know, dude, I got COVID pneumonia in 2020, 21, or whenever it came out. And I got the pneumonia with it. I almost died, bro. I was in I was in ICU for, like, almost a month. Damn. On a ventilator. That People shit was don't know real. That. that shit was real. That shit. Dog, I never felt anything like that. Damn. And it was because my heart. They told me your heart. You were really feeling it. Yeah. So, so I had the pneumonia and... Um, so, you know, we all go through th that shit, you know, and um, I ain't crying about it. I feel it. We're going to push right through it. I'm Damn, gonna, I was asking about the music. I didn't mean to <laughs> get nah, it like that. Good. It's all nah, good. It's all I mean, good. That's, that's, that's how you feel. That's how yeah, you feel. Yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, let's let's try to do s less crying, you know, and, and you know, if you're, if you're in the playing field doing music, you know, um, that's where you're at. You know, you know what comes with it, uh, especially if you're a homie, hmm. you're from SoCal. And you you know you know the you know move properly move move with respect and uh, and get your bag you know I ain't never gonna be mad at someone getting their bag. Yeah, you know? I think I think on, on the flip side of that I think his story was a uh, very addi adding to the views and the streams he's been getting. Yeah, I think obviously great. the chain the chain jack all that shit like that. I think that uh, definitely the podcast of him him having that 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 breakdown or, or or venting I should say. I think all that and then his consistency. And then fucking with the cat that that's always in the mix, like with the controversy. Yeah, so it I think it was up. it was a it was a perfect storm to get that. I don't think that many people have been in those shoes to do that. So yeah. I, I just think it was a it was a perfect opportunity yeah. now nah, to got, be able to capitalize numbers, on yeah. it. Is a different story because now the homie's busted again, right? So yeah. I, 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 that's I personally, another thing too. Got to got to stay out of jail, man. Yeah. You know, and, um, if you know you're doing like like we said, you have to learn to differentiate. Uh, mm -hmm. That and swallow your pride yeah. sometimes, you know, because at the end of the day, you're gonna, like you say, you're gonna risk it all, and and lose it all. Yeah. You know, because nowadays, man, they're real quick to forget about you. You go away for three years, you know, and it's like you're, it, it's hard to keep it going. Keep it going. You Absolutely. Know? You know, and it, it's a little easier when you're younger. Yeah. But as you get older, you know. In this game, you're only as good as your last transaction. That's what they're yeah. saying. That's that's, that's the that's the music said, yeah. business. That's, no, but you know yeah, what? I heard though. that before what, exhibit yeah. in the music game. I heard that from fucking white boys in suits with fucking yeah. ties on. So that's I'm like, crazy. okay. So when I heard exhibit say that, I know he got that from the record labels because that's what that's what they tell artists. You know, like that's truly like what they say. Like this game, you only as good as your last yeah, transaction. Yeah. These motherfuckers are, are about their paper, homie. And, and and to most people, whether you're in the system, whether whatever, it's sad. To most people, we're just numbers. And now we're turning ourselves into just everything about being numbers, streams, this and that. So I think that there's too much focus on that instead of what yeah. really matters is is the good music, the dopeness, the the really doing some yeah. dope shit instead of the mamadas. You know That's I mean? another thing too. Good good music and um, 
and uh, how do I say uh, the like your hustle are kind of are different because there's a lot of people with good music, but they don't get numbers. That's true. And there's a lot of people with whack ass whack ass music, music that get that gets numbers. No, and, that makes you sense. You know, so it's uh, it's you have to figure out the medium and, and 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 go from there, man. I see a lot of artists that are super dope. And it's just they can't they can't get off they can't they can't go anywhere you know yeah and uh, they got to get their grind harder they got to get more out there they yeah, got to get sure. in certain spots they got to get on podcasts oh yeah straight up they got push they got to push their brand because maybe the image isn't working yeah you know image sometimes outweighs music you know what I'm saying a yeah. perfect a perfect example Capone mm-hmm. you know strong image and musically I don't I don't really bump them. Mm-hmm. And I'm not knocking him. I'm just keeping it real. You know, it's just, I like bars. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got bars. I got bars. Mm-hmm. Uh, certain, certain rappers got bars. I like, I like to hear bars and, sh- and shit mm-hmm. that, I like to hear good raps. Hell oh, yeah. I'm just keeping it real. I you know what I'm saying? I like bars. You know, it's like, and if they don't got bars, it's hard for me to listen. Um, Hell yeah. And on the flip side of that, though, there's motherfuckers mm-hmm. with bars. That got no looks and that could never they fucking, got no you know what I'm saying? Right, they got right, no right. image and then they're never gonna get nowhere because they could be having the hardest bars in the world but right. look like a motherfucking gremlin and then it's they, over, yeah. They, they belong on a building fucking yeah, scaring yeah. away birds. Hey, and but shit. even if you look like a gremlin, as long as you got some swag, you're nah, all right. That's true. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> even if you're, even if you're fucking look, gargoyle yeah, ass yeah, rappers. Even if you're like a little bit fat, uh, look, look at Heavy D and, and Biggie. Oh, Heavy D was a shit. Biggie, you gotta have swag. You gotta nah, wear the Versace and put the. And then sell it. The golf hat sideways. Motherfucking it, Biggie yeah. sold that shit though. He, like, that he really sold ugly. that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he sold that shit though. He dog. said, "I love it when you call me Big Pop." Hey, he but, sold yeah, that right, shit. Dog. He said, "Yeah, right." <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's right. Everybody keeps asking about Devour. I don't know why. Do you, what do you think about Devour? Criminal Devour. Everyone keeps asking. Uh, Devour, Devour. Uh, he has some uh, good music. He has some bars. Yeah. You know, he he he's doing his thing. Oh, I mean, yeah. um, I think he's busted. He's still busted. Yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, he was uh, he was dropping visuals and staying consistent and and uh, and shit like that. You know. Hell yeah. Maybe they want him on the podcast. They want you to have him call like uh, Diablo did. Oh yeah, maybe. Maybe that, that might maybe. be why. Because all of a sudden, I started yeah, salute, asking salute, what you think. Salute Diablo. Yeah, hell it yeah. was a good Shout interview. I was watching it all the way here. Hell when yeah. I came in, I was playing, and I think it was. Finishing up. Yeah. So while you were talking though, I was I was I had it playing and I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Right here. Hell yeah, that's dope though. Uh, uh, any any new videos or anything coming out? Yeah, just we're gonna do. I have a I have like, I have like thirty five songs ready to go. Hell yeah. Yeah. To be honest with you. You've been working. So two two albums and then um, I've been working. I worked during the COVID when Hell when yeah. there's COVID. I kind of sat Grind in there. It out. And, yeah, and did it. So that was really great. So I got this uh, trap song. Uh, coming out it's called it's called bump a bump bump so Mm -hmm. it's like some new shit something for the hood it's like some west coast shit mixed with the trap so i'm gonna drop a visual to it hopefully uh oh for sure within a month i've been dropping visuals so i have i have three out already for the year yeah and like i said uh just do that do the album i want to do some collabs bro i think that that's very important who you want to work with man there's so many names i would like to work with uh um definitely like oxnard pugs Big E Rock, uh, they're dope, dog. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'm giving them their flowers because you know I have know. Have you chopped it up with them? Uh, I have here and there. You but know, not really uh, official. Yeah, not in uh, in person. Uh, Oxnard and I've met Oxnard Pugs and uh, uh, maybe Big E one time. Mm. You know, I want to work with. Um, I like Little Weirdo. Little He's Weirdo. He's tight. Yeah. Um, shit, even even uh, Maru. Yeah. You know, try to get down to his uh, style though. Yeah. To bring him up to mine, I don't think he's uh, not talented. Now I'm saying like, I don't see him on a boom bat beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just being mm-hmm. real. Uh, but yeah, uh, him. Um, who else do I do I think is dope? Shit, I'm gonna work with Jenny Sixty Nine. Where's she at? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Saying? Come on. What do you think about that little weirdo and Capone beef? <clears throat> They're kind of dissing each other. You see that? 
Oh, were they? I seen something. I thought it was like. Uh, I was laughing at that shit. I was, yeah. like, I was like, what the fuck's going on? Little <laughs> weirdos like the little homie and the Capone's obviously the homie from back in the day. So yeah. I got a Capone. Things. Yeah, I got a Capone. Like, what's up with this shit? He was like, yeah, whatever. He, he had his opinion and shit. I was going to yeah. try to reach out to make that happen, but I guess they they, they just, uh, little Weirdo just got busted and shit. But when yeah. he touches back down, I'm going to holler at the little homie and see if we could knock that shit off. You know how the you know how the older homies are? <clears throat> they, they take it to the uh, to the bone, you know? I mm-hmm. mean, me being older too, I, I don't, I don't know. I just don't, I don't feel like uh, that the stuff is too, too serious. Yeah. Like, I don't think it infringes on my image or, mm-hmm. like I said, I'm telling you, if you caught me out there doing something, my face was funny and you reposted it, I don't think it would infringe, like, fuck with my image or yeah. any of that shit. I just, I don't I'm gonna make sure your that. thumbnail's solid as fuck. I'm gonna put some dope shit on your face. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm good at fucking face. face I know uh, you are. What do you call it? Nah, uh, uh, no, back in the days, that fool fucking uh, Big Locote back in the days used to do some funny shit with Photoshop and show me. <laughs> I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? He'd be like, look at this shit. I was just clowning and shit. I'd be like, this fool's crazy. Yeah, what we need to do is we need to get that, uh, Everyone criminal featuring Opina. That's what we gotta do. Yeah. You need to get a video for that. How come it got low, Crit? His mic's going up. His mic is went complete. Yeah. My mic it. Hold up. Why does his mic go up? Speak. Can you hear me? Sounds like it's gone. It doesn't. That's weird. He just like completely just was going. He was talking and just went up. Yeah. Let's take a little quick break. Quick break. Quick break. Hell yeah. We on two hours. It's all good. Yeah, you guys, uh, we appreciate everybody tapping in. We see all these questions. Shout out to all the OGs from Riverside. Mira Loma, San Bernardino, Colton, Paris, all the way to Escondido and Cintas. Uh, they're talking about what happened to Snapper. Who knows? Uh, free the homie Diablo, Big Locote. Should have never rapped. Damn. All love from the 505. Wow, can you test real quick? Yeah, my People check. talking shit. It's weird how it just went out like that, right? Mike oh. went out. Nah, we can put up on this one in the meantime. Let me let me uh talk talk now? Yeah. Oh yeah, well Oh there you go. I pressed some shit. Oh, you know Dang. what? I was trying to put the light. Oh, the so light. shit, we were talking, nobody could hear me. Nah, just for like two nah, seconds. Like, oh. <laughs> nah, we definitely gotta get something in. Like I said, we got that uh California Love compilation that's produced by my wifey, uh co produced that she's oh, okay, like, uh, executive produced. That's her idea. And uh, we're putting that together right now, so definitely we'll probably drop some shit on that motherfucker. Yeah, right I'm, I'm I, wifey. I'm real wild, cause if you weren't, I knew we were gonna be here. If you weren't here, I would have brought like three strippers right here. To, <laughs> to <laughs> that dance our criminal. <laughs> that that would have worked with my wife. Yeah, yeah. Wifey's a gangster, dog. Yeah, more yeah, like, more than most kidding. motherfuckers. I yeah, I'm yeah, crazy. She'd, she'd fuck some shit up. That's my wife. We yeah. don't play. Uh, that's but right. Yeah, we wouldn't do that to her. We, it's nah, all respect for her. I wouldn't right do that to her. Yeah, for sure. But nah, man, we appreciate the love. Is there anything else you wanna you wanna highlight or anything before we get up out of here? Uh, nah, man. Salute to everybody. Uh, uh, thank you for having me on here, Hell my yeah. G. Always. It was long overdue, and let's get one in, dog. Hell yeah, you already know. Salute all the hustlers out there. Hell Straight yeah, up. all of them, homie. And stay positive, stay grinding, stay shining. And uh, we appreciate you pulling up, homie. Your testimony is amazing. Salute right back to you. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the bottles. And we appreciate your story. And we know that when you hit these motherfucking plaques and you take the shit to the next level, we're part of the story, homie. We can say, hey, homie, we're one of the first ones to have him on a podcast before his shit just went through the roof. You know what I'm saying? Much love and respect. Before we get up out of here, I appreciate everybody that taps in. I, uh, you know, support everybody that believes in whatever they're believing. But I'm going to keep it true to myself. Say a quick little prayer before we get up out of here. Father God, I come to you tonight to thank you for our our blessed day, for all the blessings that we've been able to carry. Thank you for the successful trips that we had up to Washington, Portland, back down with the crime family right here. Shout out to Diablo that called in. Shout out to all my homies that support. Shout out to homie Opina pulling out, telling his story. Shout out to the whole label. Shout out to everybody that's out there doing their thing. Please keep everybody covered with your protection and your blessings. Keep us uh, in good energy, good health. In God's name, amen. That's how we do it, man. Much love from your homeboy, Mr. Criminal. Opinions in the building. Shout out yes, to sir. everybody that tapped in with Diablo while he was on the live. Now you guys heard the story from um, the, the man himself. And this is how we do it. 2023, Mr. Criminal on air live. The Bonnie and Clyde show will be live tomorrow. And that's how we do it. Much